last and threatens the fastest weapon you wouldn't make it past a second and that's the question play it brash and reckless or choose a cautious solution you thought was prudent in any sepulcher poker to will become the putrid it's that wealth that i'm pursuing no mountain too steep or dungeon too deep to send expandable marks up to the top of the peak of beneath they see you bleed they come like sharks to it while i swim in that money bin like carl barks drew it so send your national parks drew it i'll send them home in a natural box with a closed top and most of the parts included <sighs> save your breath for a cleric confessor Death is a lesson and life is a tenured professor. But if you're seeking my official advice, sign on the dotted line and wish it twice. What are you talking about, Alyssa? Hello, oh, she's really real mean. I am Jerry Holkins of Penny Arcade and Pax. Uh, I am also Ominifus Herobard Drawn, CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated, but today I'm Jerry K. Hork Crims. I'm here to run a game of Dungeons and Dragons for my friends. To my right, Dragonborn Narcissist, Dinar Blitzen. Hey! Yay! Oh! Yeah. Huh? Um, Probably never miss. <laughs> okay, don't don't mean that. Um, hey, it's the theme of today's game. <laughs> to the right of my right, repping the natural world. Wanna dunk grass? Ka cra. Ka cra. Ka cra. We are very subdued today. We are. No. I'm not Picking subdued. No. He are. I'm, car. No, they're not up. subdued. Look at all the emotes. Look at that. They got oh, crazy. Oh. They got crazy. Got a lot of that energy. <clears throat> yeah, I do. I have a lot of energy. The man your age. Yep. Uh, okay. Spry. <laughs> That's not necessary. Um, to my left, uh, not your grandma's grandma. Except in those rare cases where she is your grandma's grandma, Rosie B. Snare. Whoa! What? 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 Oh, 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 no. <laughs> what? That is, that is EPA IP. Where's just, my stamp? I'm just, I'm just fan servicing <laughs> so I can get the Kakra emotes too. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, so they're, they're trying yeah, there's a little, little, little Pikachu, little Pikachu, Pikachu yeah. yeah. Is Pikachu, whose brand is that? Who's in the Lightning Mouse? It's no one's, it's, it's a public. <laughs> Yeah, that can't, that can't it's like Mickey here. Mouse. Anyone can use <laughs> it. it uh, to the left of my left, emerging as though from a mist shroud, Kathris mm. Drow. What? Oh, oh my god! You guys yeah. are all here. Hey, is this hey. for one for me? Were you in this? The the Illuminati shroud? symbols. Where are all these symbols coming from? <laughs> Do we have an Illuminati? <laughs> that was emote? A, a butt. That was a person's oh, butt. Oh man, <laughs> we need oh. an Illuminati emote. <laughs> it's true. It's true. One of these. It's default with one of these. Yeah, it's true. No, not that. Uh, now, yeah. uh, Amy, before the show started... Who is oh, Amy? Walnut. But before the show started, <laughs> yeah. you were saying that you would like to play some Dungeons & Dragons. Yeah, I would, desperately. Please, take me away from this mortal coil. I have exactly, <laughs> in, indeed, indeed, I can take you to the very foundations uh, where mortality is a kind of trivia, really. Uh, it's a place we've all been to. What? Are you are you okay? Is no, I'm excited, and I was He's excited by excited. Chris's face. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. This is yeah. Welcome to the Chris, the Chris show. He said mortality. Host. He's just he's yeah. paying attention. Boy, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, he said foundation. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> that's what got me. Indeed, indeed. Wow. So take. Uh, it's it's a place that we are familiar with. Indeed, it is the place that the party finds itself. Uh, it is a peculiar realm uh, called the Fundamental Court. That's right. Uh, mm -hmm. And it is one of the. Uh, at least to hear uh, Doldroma, uh, or Doldroma's most recent incarnation, uh, to hear her tell it, uh, her master, who she calls Jeffrey, but his name, of course, perhaps not his true name for summoning purposes, um, but his name uh, is Jeff Magic. Uh, oh. And it is said that when he fell uh, through the evil machinations of Jim Dark Magic, who he believes to be the true power uh, in Acquisitions Incorporated, and Omendron is a sort of, uh, you know, adjunct sidecar functionary Flunk creature, yeah. if you will, yeah. if you will. Um, Ramora. Take it easy. If you will. Hey now. Like a barnacle. <laughs> hey! Uh, it's my birthday. God damn it. It's my IP. Um, he is said to have fallen, so he, he has revealed to Doldrama uh, what he calls the sixfold prophecy. And so, after his murder, functionally speaking, at the hands of Jim Dark Magic, he passed through six distinct realms. Uh, and it, and these Can you detail each of them in order for me, please? Yes, of course. And name them. Yeah. Please skip them out. And I also have a list of names. 
Um, just a <laughs> random realm table. Realm yeah, one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, one of the realms that we know uh, he passed through was the fundamental court, um, which exists uh, at the sort of at the crux of physical law. Um, but it is suggested, at least Doldroma has intimated as such, that there are, just like uh, mortal laws, there are ways to bend and adjust uh, these things that seem so firm. Uh, but when last we saw our heroes, uh, they had very recently formulated uh, what they felt were going to be sophisticated plans uh, to manage two specific problems. The first problem uh, is that uh, Doldroma has suggested and Dinar has accepted uh, the idea that the town of Sinter, which had been annihilated in the premiere at Back South, uh, can be reconstituted via some you know, mechanical loophole uh, in the fundamental court. The second, uh, I would love it if you could explain it uh, to the class uh, Ms. Dongrass. What Walnut's doing? Yes. Because um, she has a separate thing that is that is her own thing. Everyone else was very obsessed at that time because Dinar had manifested a kind of competence that was yes. breathtaking for anyone who's known him well. Sure, and that only irked Walnut more. <laughs> oh, indeed. Um, in her stubbornness, Walnut filled out a requisition of former self form that she made up. Uh, <laughs> indeed. Can you tell me what roles uh, you were able to produce uh, to generate success or, or failure? I mean, I know them perfectly well, but I'm wondering if you know them. And I'm wondering if you think that they're sufficient. Ooh. I mean, to make the form, I feel like it was sufficient. I feel like to uh, like actually you know, put this in its correct formation to do what she wants to do, which is turn that dumb lich. <laughs> No, I'm joking. <laughs> Back into her pal. Indeed. Um, and then show everybody that she can do it too. It's not just Dinar taking all of the things that she can do and doing it herself. <laughs> yeah, or, or, or indeed even just the tail. Her pride is on the line. That's right. Cometh before God only knows success. What. Yeah. Oh, well, that's, that's what they say. I mean, One historically, <laughs> historically that has been the uh, uh, the attachment. Now, uh, even Doldroma was surprised uh, by the uh, swiftness uh, with which uh, Prince Blitzen was able to manipulate this. But the reason was because somehow, and it's not clear why, somehow the mechanism that they use to communicate and manipulate these fundamental laws, the kind of uh, grammar that has achieved a physicality at this scale of existence, uh, is very similar, if not identical, to a game children play in Jannar. Indeed, a game uh, your father might teach you. But did he teach you every rule? Something to consider. Uh -oh. uh, so, uh, we, yes. we, are, we rest now in the fundamental court. Uh, there is any number of things you can explore, enjoy, savor. Uh, and I am here as your dungeon master to enable any and all things that you are interested in. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing my thing, you just tell me when it's time to roll for it. Okay, yeah. well you've already rolled for it. Oh, but, I, but I would love to know what else you do. Um, well, I mean... Because that'll, that'll provide a... Now uh, she's folding up the an, boxes. Th that'll provide an acai reduction to uh, oh, the boy. eventual uh, scenario. Okay. I don't like... <laughs> if it was, all right, uh, if it was Amy, here, if it was understand. Amy, Amy yeah. would stop. <laughs> what she's doing. <laughs> understand that you and I, whatever our current incarnations may be, like we both resent the dungeon master, uh, wherever he may be at this time. Sure. Like we both know that there's, Show strange, stu there's <laughs> strange stuff happening, and it's just like I just want to make sure that you know that I'm in your side. But I don't know what he's going to do. He's crazy. <laughs> I don't know. It's a special day. It's, it's his, a special yeah, day, it's though. His, it's a special day, a whatever special he day. wants. Whatever yeah. he wants. <coughs> um, whatever he wants. Give him that acai reduction. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. so basically now it's acai. time for her to move the blocks around. And 
we rolled before, and she knew basically yeah. what to do. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And so she was able to uh, construct, to the best of her ability, I mean, she was, she was told that documancy sort of echoes, if, if imperfectly, uh, the way that they manipulate reality down here. Yeah, so the next thing she'll start doing is trying to move them into formation to uh, make, make whole her desires here. Okay, marvelous. Now, the, the extra piece that you know is that once these, they're fundamentally a kind of bureaucratic request. Yes. And then once, once you have constructed them, they are, they are presented directly to uh, the court in the center of this oh. place. Right. So this is so right now you are just you have an opportunity to practice now are you still being semi furtive about all this? Because um, before you were kind of off in the corner. Yeah. No, she's like I'll show them. I'll show them. All. I'll show them all. Well, this is the question. So yeah. like we are seeing, uh, like we are captivated yeah. by yeah. this. Exactly. Like this. So right now all this. Mess. This less this mess. Yeah. But uh, and Doldrum also is is fascinated by oh. how he's doing. <clears throat> no, it. Yeah, indeed. Um, almost perplexed. But has it come to a result? In other words, is there a reason for uh, any of us to pop our head and be like, oh, Walnut is not here? Or are uh, we just fixed the processes well, continue? Well, right now, I mean, I would say that you have been fixated simply because, as I suggested before, this eruption of competency um, would be troubling in any other context. Mesmerizing, frankly. It's, yeah, I think I would Potency ask. Potency ejaculation. <laughs> mm. It can mean explosion. It can. It can. Like it, does yeah. it. <laughs> it does it. It means exactly what it said. <laughs> It's, hey, look, idiot savants means, are fascinating. It means shout. <laughs> Actually, it is kind of a shout. Yeah. Uh, if you think about it. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like a dick shout? Yes. 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 Well, you don't have to be crude about it. No. I think we all are talking about urinating. I get it. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's what I ask Dinar. It's urine, right? <laughs> no, I want to know. Uh, you pee the baby into. I want to know. I want to know. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's his. Day. It really Marnus is. This is what he wants. You're he told me before we sat down. <laughs> you, where did you learn how to do this? Is, is it clear that this is from your dad? Like somehow you taught, you were taught this game. He he's been narrating this aloud because yes. I asked this last time. Yes. Yeah. Is, is it clear that this is something he learned from his dad? So we have overheard him kind of talking to himself more than anything. But yeah. we we've learned that this is from. Did his your dad. dad look like? These floating <laughs> beings, or this this lich woman? No. What, what did your dad look like? <laughs> like Tell me about your father. Bigger and older. <laughs> How often would he play this game with you? Is he from here? Is this Janar? I did don't he think you? so. I don't think so. Did he say? Did he say he loved you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe this is how. Yeah. Oh yeah. Is this a hug? What is a hug? Are you, can you define hug <laughs> for us? <laughs> you know. Um, what, uh, when we ended last time, Dora yeah. was playing the game to a stalemate, or a, not the actual game. They, they like, uh, did exactly. an aside. Exactly, so mm. functionally speaking, he is presenting his case. Like a, a fundamental case for unmaking a specific event. Mm -hmm. um, she, uh, Doldrama, was simply um, trying to counter it, trying to say, trying to evoke the existing laws to argue against it, and she has mm -hmm. suggested that it's possible there may be an argumentation phase when these things are presented to the uh, very judge of uh, what gets to be real or not. Okay, and she. She said that. Yeah, and so she was basically trying to practice against you. Okay. Like, I, I want to ask Doldroma. Yeah. Say, what defines Shh. the... I go up here. What defines the... <laughs> <laughs> no, up here at Awaken Mind, it's... Yeah, yeah. What defines... <laughs> yeah. Sorry. What defines the scope of these operations? If, if an error is made in this place, well, she'll how answer, much would it? She'll answer um, with her craw. I'm prepared. I, I look. I use my eyes to see the mouth. 
Okay. Nice. Uh, Roll for it. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, you 14. don't. Fourteen. Nice. Uh, <laughs> you cannot see the mouth. No, I forgot where it is. She says. You focus on the teeth. Yep. She says, "This is what. Uh, this is what allows documency to function, and it's what allows some of the things Jeffrey is allowed to do, which is that." Standards are surprisingly lax here. In this place? In this era, as near as we can tell, we don't know if there was a change in leadership mm. in the fundamental court, but there is something about this era that allows much. As long as you can endure the obstacle, and the obstacle, of course, is tuned to anyone trying to enter the fundamental court, mm. But, as long as you can push your way through, you can enable all manner of, uh, of ill-conceived notions. It's very upsetting <laughs> to understand. See, yes, thought, yes, well, these are, the, yeah. these, these, are, these are the rules. You can, you can weep, or you can make your case. I'll prefer to do the latter. Uh, I don't particularly feel like the former yet. <clears throat> and she says, has anyone asked you about your stone while you've been here? No, I've, I haven't wanted it to be noticed. It's typically something I keep to myself. She says, they have opinions about this symbol here. Hmm. Should I elicit some? I don't think it's going to get you into any trouble. Unless you go into the fundamental court, I'm sure you've seen most of these entities are uh, consider us somewhat below their notice. Hmm. I, don't, I think our shapes are simple, and I think our conversations are trite to them, but it might be worth it. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Uh, I'm going to glance around while you're still busy. Hmm. Haven't I, I think I would. I mean, there's, yeah. so, there's so much to look at. There's so much to look at. I'm trying to decide whether or not I would notice this. You are making an effort, Walnut, to not be seen. Is that You just right? see a really slow... <laughs> 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 no, <laughs> I come right over. That's a welcome sign. <laughs> what is that? No. Yeah, Walnut's like hunched over what she's doing. She just looks like she's sulking. You can choose to engage with her if you want. Yeah, I think as excited I am to approach these other guys out here, these weird shadow of things. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll wander over. Uh, Get some nut. <laughs> and say, Denar is doing very st strange things he shouldn't be able to do. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> 100%, same page. Same page for once. <laughs> I'm, and I'm worried about, there isn't even any bound on what can be done here. Oh, I know. Just you wait. What are you, where'd you get those? I made them. I can do this too. This is the foundation of documency. And if I can't do this, well, what can I do? Did I say that all out? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna make this happen. It's gonna be perfect. And I'm gonna show whoever. And I look at Dinar angrily. Whom? <laughs> <laughs> are you are you done with them? Yes, I'm ready. We could ask teacher uh, Roma to come and, and see. No, no, teacher. no. I know. I need to show her too. It's, can, can everybody do this but me? <laughs> I can. Like a cool thing to do. I, I can show you. It's so it's so easy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna see. I don't know. I don't know that I have the. I wouldn't be able to tell, really. If you're doing it right or not, compared to Denar. Yeah, are you completely bluffed by this? I think yeah. so. I was saying, because I didn't try to give you both a lesson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. still paying attention. Yeah, and, and you picked up enough that you were able to interfere with the old drama. Like, right, that's right. He gave it to both of you. Yeah. Oh, An intro to chess. Mm -hmm. The pawn yeah. does this, the knight does this kind of thing. Okay, so I have a little bit. I'm going to try to, if I have a little fragment, then what I want to do is try to map it onto what I see you doing. Mm -hmm. And see how they how they fit. I probably don't have a big piece though. Um, I don't know. 
It's only one way to find out. Yeah, let me only roll one for of it. Us the die. Let me try. What what would what skill would help? Uh, I just saw him do and, well, and those metaphors. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you have the basics, but also, I mean, assessing and finding the fault lines and you know mystical systems is sort of your bag. That's true. Well, it, it's, <clears throat> it's, it's mostly about telling me what you want to accomplish. Oh, I want to. I want to know. If. Are you trying to look at her thing, or are you trying to make something? No, I'm trying to look at her thing. I want to see if there's any like grievous logic problem, or if it's like, no, it looks like documents. He seems to work the same way, top to bottom. You know? Sure, sure, absolutely. Um, so if you're if you're purely trying to assess it, uh, what I would say is that you should be looking at it um, like any other field of study. I would say that you've tuned your mind to. Yeah, so I mean, this, this would be Arcana, would be my guess. Yeah, I was gonna say, I got Arcana investigation. You're trying to make fine. it. You're yeah. just you're, you're like a you're like a an eldritch contractor who's coming in. Like, yep, yep, you got them fighters up there. <laughs> <laughs> let me look. Let me take a look. Yeah. We'll see what we're working with here. Um, let me. Uh, may I advantage my role? You may advantage. Yum, your role, yum. Please. Yum yum yum. Thank yum. you so much. Oh. Because you need it. Because I was trash. Because Chris. Oh, okay. Right. Well, that's fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, you. It's like you don't. It's probably not a huge concern. Yeah, there might be like some deviation. Yeah, yeah. We'll it, it's not a huge concern, but you can tell already that she has not been honest with you. Oh, as far as what this about what does. she's about what she's what she's trying to enunciate mechanically with these sigils. Miley what is this for? What does this do? None of your business. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, but what does it do? I, I, I watched you go through the conversation tree and pick your dialogue options. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's like Emmy style where it's like over here on the, par- exactly. on the, on the yes. like Paragon Renegade. <laughs> you just hit me in the face. Um, uh, I say, um, I say, well... Um, I'm going to unchange Dildroma, and it is a simple thing. It's as simple as these blocks before me. Okay, well, you you definitely see that. Yeah. You see that in there. Okay. But beyond that, it doesn't, like, the structure that she has suggested has certain ambiguities in it. There are certain aspects of it that are left out. So it's like um, when uh, Ronya was younger in school, they called it brave spelling, which is another way of saying spelling things incorrectly. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, it's like a nice way, and, it, and ultimately did not help there. <laughs> and it, it, you're not sure this will help either. <laughs> you, you, you accept that this is a robust attempt uh, writ with... Um, real, uh, real gumption. Right. Our uh, spirit. But it does not define the manner in which Doldroma continues to live. Right. I will say. It just, it leaves that open, but there is an alteration from the current form. Right. The, the, the way in which this seems to work is if the, the bounds of this thing are not Either it does what you want or it does not. It seems like unless all the loopholes are closed, it will do, it could do any number of unpredictable things. I know that. You think I don't know that? I was assessing that knowledge. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Want to look back at Dinar Marizzi and see that nobody's watching. (laughs) And then look at Catharis. Just lean in a little bit closer and go like, all right, well, what would you do? Friendship. Mm. It's <laughs> not just being worn down by this. <laughs> yeah, it's just ground down. Yeah. It's like, it, let it's me the, hope. It's the Attrition. right choice. It's, it's true. Yeah, you could listen and then not do that. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, You're so smart. <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> that is the problem. I don't know what to do. Uh, it's a good goal to have. Who could uh, know? I don't know. Listen, <laughs> listen, if I can fix this, 
I can fix any number of horrible things. Anything. I can fix it. Oh, shit. man. Oh, we, we just fucking got yeah. down to some... Oh, no. I know. I am really legitimately afraid. Think, there's, of, think of what I could do. There's real, like, there's <laughs> genuine rapport here. Like, there's no desire. Uh, hopefully this is conveyed by how Chris is talking. Like, there's no desire to, like, narc and be like, you're going to mess it up. And no, it's going to be I dangerous. Know. There's only one narc but in this like, group. But it's like... <laughs> this, is, this is the most powerful thing that we could ever hope to have access to. What we could achieve with this is it, it's beyond, you know, saving some some mining town from bandits. I agree. <clears throat> it is worth studying. It is worth experimenting with. I agree. That's what this is. This is my first experiment. Oh my god. This is horrifying. I'm, I'm so upset that I have no, there's no fault with this. <laughs> there's no issues here. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, she looks down at them and she thinks, she says, um, she says, I know what I would fix. And she looks at him and she goes, I know what you would fix. We could do that. Wow. Hmm. Because there's just taken a little bit aback at this. He's, ex- he's not. Yeah. A, he expects to be, uh, like, dressed down. It's like, come on, Chris, knock it off. Like, yeah. come on. That's usually how it is. Yeah. Yeah. But she changed tack. Um, ah. <laughs> I'm going to put a pin in this. Sure. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> A dark walnut. Yeah. yeah. She gave me like the She has the power to change anything in her life. Of course. No, I know exactly what she's talking about. <clears throat> Can you give me a, a procession roll, Prince What's in? Only because you called me Prince. And it's your special day. A two. You have you no perception anything. bonuses? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> He's the Narb What's in. Perfect. True. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it is so flawless. Um, <laughs> you. You thought that there was, you thought there was something, like you, you thought you heard something, but you think that you are just a little hungry. <laughs> oh, that's part for the course. What about me? Always a little hungry. How hungry am I? Do I eat Rosie? Just <laughs> <laughs> help. No, this, this, this is a thing. Snack. <laughs> Be, just because of the relative sizes, if you just opened your mouth from a standing position, Rosie could just walk in. I'm pretty yeah. sure I have. Like the, like yeah. the little birds that clean the inside of the mouth of the crocodile. Exactly, exactly. I've done teeth. that, yeah. yes. <laughs> That. We've you literally do done that. this in the game. If there's another D and D campaign hard enough to model eldritch dentistry, oral hygiene, vor. <laughs> dare you? Yeah. Voral hygiene. Damn it. We Jerry. got there. Hey, it's my birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> Happy <laughs> birthday, <laughs> bud. Hey, you know what? It feels good. All right. Yeah. You, you, you just like a little rumbly in your tumbly as well. Hmm. I giggle. <laughs> yeah. What do you What do you notice? <laughs> do I notice anything? Or I'm too focused on learning. Uh, no. It, it isn't. It isn't something that. I wouldn't have picked up on it. Nah, you wouldn't have picked up on it because it's like you're not wearing the documents you back. Oh. Not yet. <laughs> no. You're already on my I let you wear it. I just say, hey, try it on. <laughs> Dude, this back, by the end of this campaign, I will have failed if every member of this party, if the documents you back doesn't have to go all the way all around. All the way around. It, and then it skips you. Is that, yeah. is, is that hurtful? I get it twice. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no! It has to, it has to go from here. I'll get it for a little while. Yeah, even yes. as a dungeon master, we'll get an NPC. It. Yeah, and then <laughs> we'll go it. around here, yes. and then it'll go from here, and then it'll go, boop. <laughs> and then it'll go back over. This right. is all drained and wrung yeah. out. Mm-hmm. There's nothing left. I'm sorry. You are so in, you you are so in, invested in this. Yeah, I walnut. know. Like the little creases of these cubes. The gentle uh, convex edges oh. that fit so flush into the next cubes, Let's sort of waiting Garund. Yeah, all right. All right. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Jerry. <laughs> but essentially, and there's just this light gold edge, and we, we just the way they're put together right now, it just has it has a a lovely thesis. Horny on main. Oh yeah. 
Uh, Jerry's always horny on Maine. Yeah, that's uh, true. I'm ready. I'm ready to simulate any portion of this tiny universe Dinner, that you what want. Are you doing? I mean, I don't know. I uh, dold, my dold, my <clears throat> duel with yeah, Doldrama yeah. is over. Yeah, Doldrama says, uh, we'll have to, uh, the next time we can present cases is a second from now. But to us, it will feel like several hours. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, me I don't know what any of that means. Yeah, and she says you wouldn't, and then she starts to move things around. Who won the duel? Did you win? It wasn't a duel in the classic sense. This, this, yeah. it, this isn't. It looks like the game. Yeah. But when you actually set them against each other, they form a. They mean one thing. All right. So that's Rosie then in character. I'll be like, what was this? What happened? What What's the outcome? What happened? She's she's asking Doldrama. Oh, Doldrama. Yeah. yeah. Like what? <clears throat> just, what just she, happened? She says, "I think they'll accept this case." Who's they? What's a case? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the the fundamental court. Yes, he, he knows. I'm not even here listening. <laughs> but oh, you see, because there's been like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> <laughs> when, in fact, if Rosie sees that happening, she's like. That makes it worse. <laughs> yeah. Man, I want to watch this show so bad. I want to watch this as a show. Um, so, uh, yeah, she, so without looking up from the configuration here, she just points a hand back uh, toward uh, the largest um, and most actively uh, spiky uh, building on this horizon. Okay. So recall that these these piss uh, crystals. Yeah, piss crystals. Pistols. Uh, sex crystals. Sex crystals. Uh, they are. Okay. Um, they are leapt. They are leapt about on. They sort of have channels in them for uh, a spiky. It flows like a liquid, but as it as it uh, attaches itself to these buildings, it extends itself out. Into what are like spiky crystals that um, just as quickly are reabsorbed into the mass and then travel from building to building. And the, in truth, even the people that live here seem to be comprised of this. They have the same sort of glossy surface. They don't have what we would call faces in the classic sense, but that's definitely where you're supposed to look. Are the creatures bipedal still? Or are they? Yeah. Okay. They are. They All just right. they just sort of look like. Um, they're they're like the default. It's like the default uh, model you get to pose in Maya or something. The two two pose. Yeah. Um. Blank face. <laughs> yeah, except they have uh, tiny paths uh, of spiky growth that seem to travel through their bodies in time from time to time. Hmm. Just like a, a wave. So it's like <coughs> someone on TV and, and then there's just like a like yeah. a, a flicker a flicker and it's just running through them constantly. Okay, so don't drum up. Pointed to one of the spiky crystals. Just gestured, and then the, the wrist has a, a sort of a dusty creak in it, but she uses it to gesture at the at the central sort of uh, waft, minaret. Wafting her smell at me. Yeah, it's gross. Okay, I, I see that. Is it different than it was before because of what you did? Uh, no, we will a second from now. Yeah. Which you will perceive. Thank you, Kathris. Which you will perceive <laughs> as a couple hours. <laughs> Or right in your eyeball. <laughs> we will bring these cases, present them to the fundamental court. Okay. And I suspect we will find success. The issue, temporary issue, of center will be resolved. Mm -hmm. And purely as a side note, the power uh, and unrelenting vigor of the six as an adventuring organization, I think it will be proved uh, for all present. Uh, and then we can start talking about who you should be working for. So this is all a recruitment drive? I think that you will be recruited as a function of it, but no, that's not its base purpose. Okay. You're going to love the way we look. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, honestly. Yeah. Like this whole, do you like this? Is this, is this form pleasing to you? I find that it heads off a lot of conversations in the market, frankly. You conversations still, I don't want to be having. God, even like you're undead, you still got to go to the market? Oh, boy. 
It's not the afterlife I want. I feel like you can. Let's please. <laughs> Accomplish a lot of that with like a sandwich board. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No oh, thank you. Don't talk to me. <laughs> don't, don't talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, but, but yes, you can see that there is clearly a, a central in this uh, structure. There is clearly a, and and there is clearly a, a part of it that draws more attention than others. Okay. Should we head there <coughs> now? It's, it's a second from now. I, get a little time. Oh my god. Do we have enough time? <laughs> a second. You guys, it's only a second away. You you two are speaking this like y'all time irrelevant can I nonsense. J- can I jump out of character? <laughs> Yeah, do it! This is a place where physical law is assessed as a court case. So he's building his, yeah. his case to change what happened right. to Cinder. We want to revert it so I that understand. it's not destroyed. Sure. We're going to present that in a couple hours to us, but here it's a very short amount of time, to the court there, and there we'll figure out whether or not they're going to do it based on the case that he's built. Yeah. So. Yes. Obviously, it's about an we all, all got that. We all we're get. All there. Oh no, no, Rosie, okay. Rosie's just so, annoyed. Uh, I'm role playing. Well, yeah, we're I'm back in character. We're in character. <laughs> Hi, so <laughs> welcome to Dungeons and Dragons, year three. <laughs> we all know we're just pretending because our characters don't. You know. don't get it. This is real. <laughs> So real. <laughs> Ryan's explaining D&D to us. This is so <laughs> Oh my god. Happy <laughs> birthday. It feels now good. beat me up. <laughs> <coughs> All right. So I have my my stuff ready to go. I have yeah. them. The one on the top, as, as, you, as you're reaching down, the one on the top teeters a little bit and then falls forward. Um, oh. This? I don't like that. Yeah. I, re- I replace it. It's good. Yeah, you think it's fine. I think it's fine. You think it's fine. Okay. Um, so I'll come back over to the group now with my stuff. And so this stuff, this stuff is packed away. Yes. Nice. I mean, like I still have my bag. It's just useless. You, yeah, exactly. You have a. You have your. It, it's just. It's like the, the, what I like to think is that you just. You always have it, just because you would never let it down. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So it's all in my bag, and I'm. I'm ready at any moment. That's great. <clears throat> Here, the, back the, over. I would love a perception roll from you as you're as you're putting a few cubes back into the. Whoa! Um, Are we throwing things at the Shadow Chancellor? <laughs> yeah. I got a fourteen. We can't communicate. To <laughs> okay, um, you hear, and it's it's like a, it'd be like uh, smelling a perfume that you remember. Mm-hmm. Like it, it goes to the parts of your brain associated with memory with incredible speed. And you can hear a scribble inside the documents, in, inside your ledger. Inside my old one? Yeah, and you have not heard, you have not heard that forever. The sound is strange, it's like drawn out and extended. Yes. You still have your ledger, or is it in his bag? No, oh, no, 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 I still have my He stuff. has his own, as a documenter, he has his own ledger. Oh. It, isn't the, it isn't the franchise's ledger, it's the documenter's ledger. It's just, you, it's just hmm. useless, like they wouldn't... Well, you them. haven't heard any communication right. through it. So I uh, turn away from the group very slowly, <clears throat> uh, and then I open my ledger as, like, as smallly as I can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh. exactly. Technical term. Smallly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I make myself as small as possible. That's right. You make, you make yourself as So small. you turn into Wheezy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? Dude, how great was the Animorph? I know. It's too good. It's too good. Um, you, like I said, the sound of the, of the scribble is very strange. Yeah. It's very um, flat and hissy. Okay. And you can see <laughs> inside there, there's only two letters uh, that have appeared so far. And the, the writing that is happening inside the ledger is incredibly slow. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Uh, and so it says GE. Uh oh. Uh oh. Brings good things to life. <laughs> I see. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> I'm done. Like, oh, Omen needs a new fridge? Yeah. <laughs> Now's not the time. Uh, light bulbs? What? <laughs> this of all places is where we can make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> I can do anything. Um, I hold my ledger, and I feel the things that I have in my bag, and I know that I have to do it, and I have a sinking suspicion that this is about to say get out, 
Or get me a sandwich. Or yeah. Give me a fridge. Yeah, get, <laughs> get it. <laughs> um, so I'll just stay looking at the ledger waiting for it to draw itself out. It, it appears to have frozen mm. between these two letters. You, you are certain this is Certainty's handwriting, though. Oh, oh dear. G whiz. This says Jerry's birthday. Yeah. Have <laughs> fun. <laughs> yeah. It's a Jerry's special, <laughs> special day. Jerry's special day. Okay, well, I do nothing until it. I, I just keep watching it so yeah. these guys can do something. Do yeah. I hear any scritching? You did. In the bag? You, you would have. Or does Kevin? Kevin. Kevin? Kevin's Kevin got his own ears? <clears throat> Kevin, Kevin. Sense vibrations, it's just. Kevin has always got his snoot in yeah. that bag. He's always doing the Lord's work yeah. inside that pouch. Okay. In that pouch. You're, you're lucky you have Kevin, yeah. frankly. We're, you are all Thank lucky you have Kevin. You have <laughs> yeah. no idea yeah. how much work this motherfucker's putting in. And he was 24 hours a day. I don't want to think about it. Yeah. Well, no, they, now they say it's not true. This is out of, this is like a table talk, out of character. Oh, OC. OK. OK. Double parentheses. Right. Um, now they say it's not true. But I always, I always really liked the idea that there was like a, a hind brain for lizards, for sure. like for dinosaurs. Oh, yeah, true. And I, no, they say, they say, well, they oh. say, well, God only knows. All we have is mush. The DMT lizards. Right, no, that's a different <laughs> lizard. Oh. Yeah. The they ones probably, who control the government? They those are lizard have, people. Yeah. I assume they have a hind brain too, though. Which ones control the government? <clears throat> but all I'm, all I'm saying is that my head cannon, which I guess is canon for this campaign, <laughs> I, guess it's, I yeah. guess it's just regular canon. Is that uh, Dragonborn, uh, is that Janari Dragonborn have a hindbrain like a Stegosaurus was said to have? Right. It's just that his is like crazy, crazy developed. It's like a 30 70 split. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's mostly in the back. <laughs> it's like when you uh, party in the back. No, it's, this is business in the back. I mean, ordinarily, and you know, you know the division of labor here. Historically, it's been party in the front, mm -hmm. right? And then business, or no, business no. in the front. And then party in the back, but not here. Not here. It's in fact quite the opposite. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is business in the front. Nope. No, it's party in the front. But you know what I mean. What? <laughs> You're lucky it's your birthday. <laughs> or I would wing this twenty. No, I'm sorry. Oh my god! <laughs> that would go through my head. Be a murder. I think I would be killed. Ooh, true crime show. Ooh, it's finally. Like when you, uh, do that's how we get our Netflix show. Yes, that's right. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> we do want that Netflix deal. <laughs> this is for you, buddy. <laughs> Enjoy that. I will. It would be a very right short. It, it would be a very short true crime thing because the whole thing was live streamed. Yeah. Like it would. The first case is real short. Like the premiere is like a five minute episode tops. All right, we gotta play Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, I'm sorry. Amy's gonna I'm go back. apoplectic. Yeah. I, oh, let me or let me throw this out there. Yes, you, you, I'm now uh, further from the group. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm so out, 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 basically outside this um, expansive courtyard. I mean, as I suggested, there's something akin to public works. There's you know, yeah hedges. There's this bizarre wall uh, off to what you know might as well be the east. I'm looking. Yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a direction. Yeah. that one could it's, go. It's fine. Uh, I'm trying to find uh, one of these figures that's near enough for me to approach or uh, you know address. Oh, for sure. Yeah, <clears throat> it wouldn't it wouldn't be hard as as they've suggested, or as Deldrama suggested, individuals like yourselves appear to mostly escape their notice. Right. Escape their notice or be ignored. That's one of them is just a diplomatic way of saying the other. I mean, I, I think being ignored is probably uh, there's a case to be made that they're not really focused on that. Yeah, I'm a little. I'm I'm not wanting to disrupt what's happening over there, but still being concerned about being on my own and not knowing. Although I trust Doldrama implicitly. Yeah, she's good people. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I I I send a, a message to you, Rosie, or I wake in mind. I I just say. I'm gonna try and talk to one of these guys. I'm back here. <laughs> Do you need you need backup? We'll find out. <laughs> just, That's a yes. Just, just, <laughs> uh, so Rosie will tear herself away from this board game and come find you. Uh, yeah, as you uh, you're approaching, I'm uh, I I'm going to try. I'm gonna awaken mind to this being. What's its aspect? Is it taller than me? Bigger than it's, us? It's probably. Maybe seven inches taller than Kathris. Is okay. it handsomer than us, or? If you're into ferrofluids, yeah, I think What's that. What's it packing? 
Yeah. A pair of fluids. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Magnetically active fluids. Nice, nice dude. Does that dipole do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, so I, I say, uh, oh, excuse me, friend. Um, have you, have you seen? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Is it using a mouth to speak with? Not that you can see. There's just a reverberation oh. of sort of the smooth dolphin-like nose. Oh, I can Hello? do that. I can do that too. I can use this to make those. Where I'm, are you? I'm down here. I can't change shape. I'm of. I'm. I'm a static form. Oh. I Is this what's talking? It reaches its face. It reaches its hand or face. Yeah. <laughs> Some part of its oh, body no. out, <laughs> and it. It just. It. It's just like this. Yes. It always. Is. Yes. From oh. here. Oh, just, darling. Just, Pouring in your mouth. Oh, I'm sorry. Sweet thing. I'm sorry to He's trouble fine. you. He's fine. Is he? Yes. Look at him. He suffers. This one is more correct. <laughs> uh, I was told that you had an opinion about this this symbol, and I and I show my arcane focus. Wow. She's got her hand, yeah. hand on the on the fucking bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want this opinion about this. <laughs> <clears throat> he says uh, an, an opinion of a of a sort. I mean, how how came you by this? Oh, I, I, it was a a, a, a part of a, of an altar that uh, I discovered in a, in a realm very different from this one. It's something like comedy. It's something. It's something hilarious. This shape. Ha! Ha ha! Do other shapes it please says, you it says, may I? <laughs> it says, may I? Uh, I'd prefer you did not. <laughs> it, it, re, it, re, it reaches out uh, a tendril, and then this tendril, other tendrils come out. It says, oh, oh no. Or... <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't take it? <laughs> no, no. It just, it just, it just, all, the, all the tiny hands, all the grablets that it expressed to touch it, it sees now that that's not, that's outre. Oh, okay. Uh, and, it, and, you know, with an apologetic wobble, uh, <laughs> It retracts those fronts. What, what would you do with it? What would you have of it? Well, I, I, I think that it's, it's just very funny. It's a very funny thing. It's like a rubber duck. <laughs> Once you're, may I have it back? Well, is that important to you? It's the entirety of my being. Oh, yes, it, it must be very important then. Well, I will only touch it for a second. <laughs> What, uh, what type of second are we referring to? Well, how, how long am I allowed to touch it? For the, for the briefest possible moment. <laughs> While I also am holding it. I accept. Very well then. <laughs> right. So it, it, it is, the hand, this, whatever it is, the pseudopod reaches out and then pods reach out from it. And then another set, even um, like almost hair thin uh, fine mm -hmm. uh, in texture, maybe even feathery at the tip. Uh, it just brushes it, and it says, "It's a, it's a hilarious thing to even write." And then it retracts multiple phases back into the arm. It says, "It's this is the assumption. This is the the praxis. It's the, it's the whole. Why would you even write it down?" It defines everything. I agree. I mean, so you understand that you understand the humor then. From in this place, I understand why it would be funny. Oh it, my goodness! It's needless. Well, absolutely, as it is needless everywhere, I'm, at every scale. I'm realizing this was a mistake to <laughs> yeah. during this conversation. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie's just, uh, watching. It's like a just, tennis match, but her eyes like, are glazing over. Crying at being understood. <laughs> <laughs> just tears all. Well, so mask of many faces oh, makes me. Yeah. I, it looks like I have two eyes with mask of many faces, but you. But I'm not bothering to cover where the tears come out. So you just see the side of the face is wet. The whole thing. But yeah. these eyes are crying, but then there's a lot more here. There's a country song like that. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't, I mean, it was only like half an hour ago that Drama offered you the option to cry, and at that point I was like, he's gonna cry. This is definitely gonna cry. I did. He's right. I did. Rosie's uh, ready. She got a nice little hanky. She knew you were gonna start crying eventually. 
That's for you. I just do it like a towel dry. <laughs> <I> like, <them. laughs> I think the just mask covers the all the tears, space. but they get to the neck. And your neck's just wet. <laughs> Soaking yes. into everything. Dabbing your neck. That would be a mess. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I always cry at ideas. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that is, that is, that's on the Kithris <laughs> desk calendar for sure. Take that hanky. Um, Save it. So this entity says, so there, is this is, I mean, certainly you know, you know as well. Uh, these are the, the firm yet bright channels that guide all being. Mm-hmm. I was just thinking that. Good. I'm glad we're of a on the same page mm-hmm. about this one. Oh, yeah. You are, but you, Rosie, are familiar with uh, a shadow of a thing potentially being as critical as the entirety of the thing. Sure. Is that related? It's just a different version of it. I see. Well, let me look at that or then. <laughs> Be my guest. <laughs> How long can you I, touch it? Then I instinctively <laughs> Put one of your tiny feathers on there. I will. <laughs> she does. She like rolls up a sleeve. She's like, Boop. anything? Well, what are you trying to do? I just She's thought I'd touch it. it. Touching it. See if I understood anything. Any of this makes any sense to me because I'm I'm the only one who isn't touching this rock. Yeah. yeah. So you you want a piece of this as well? Yeah. 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 Ding. Yeah. You don't you don't think it's an object? Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. I get it. Yes. Oh yeah, it's all making sense now. Got it. I couldn't be happier. We <laughs> we have to live here. <laughs> this is where we live now. I couldn't agree more, especially after what I have just learned through that magical rock. You're, you're wow. You're very gracious to get <laughs> great rock. <laughs> Premium rock. A plus 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 plus. Wood rock again. Yeah. Thank you. Let's let's. Contact the real estate. Let's see what we can what we can afford out here. Agreed. This is it's a, this is the right time to buy, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Let's go see. Uh, let's go see uh, Dinar. See if um, he wants to write up the real estate contract for us. How about that? How about that, buddy? That would be a good use of our time. I think so too. <laughs> Just get you away from this weird individual. <laughs> He's so the the entity says. Well, I mean, how are you? How are you familiar with this at all? Creatures as moist as you rarely have any consciousness of the earth. The place where we are from, there was a need to express this concept in this form. That is it. A tawdry place. How many layers <laughs> how yes. many how many layers of abstraction oh, must I there be I to not begin. be aware? I couldn't begin to tell you. You probably could begin to tell him. Yeah. He does. Already. He begins. <laughs> <laughs> well, first you have the first layer. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's it. I couldn't yeah. begin to tell you. Yeah. But I do have a slide yeah. uh, show that I can you show you. You tell me when I get to the number that feels right. Walk from yeah. the center. <laughs> this thin chocolate <laughs> upside. Then you got a layer of nougat. <laughs> and it's just what I mean, how what how how do you how do you commune with the earth? Uh, we uh, here there's no distinction between existing and being in concert with it. Oh, with, with great difficulty. Uh, there is a, there's a, a sort of an intercessor entity that blocks my, my attempt to commune with it. So here's a question, actually. Are you asking the creature? Yeah. This is, so, this is the most rosy thing. This is happening. Actually, you know what? You know what? Hey. You make a lot of sense. Hey, you know Columbo. what? Columbo. Uh, one, 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 one more thing. Um, Interesting question. If there were, hypothetically, some kind of entity that, that were to get between you and your understanding of this universe, how would you eliminate it? How would you make them one again? The, the creature says, this may, be, this may be the greatest joke of all. I know, it's a punchline. Wait, what do you... <laughs> Give me the setup. Yeah. <laughs> I don't... It can't be contained. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> it, it can't well, help because it doesn't understand. In that, in <laughs> that case, <clears throat> just wait it out, right? Just, so, so, it's you, to me. so you are, 
you are describing a scenario by which the fundamental lever and channel of existence itself has been imprisoned. It's the, it's the layer we are trapped upon. If that were true, heed me, moist ones. If that were true. I haven't been called moist in years. <laughs> it's been a long time. Well, that's if, just gross. <laughs> we dwell in a place absolutely defined by the earth. Do you see any evidence of abstraction, containment? Do you see any evidence at all that some malevolence has manifest here? No, I, I like all of the architecture I've seen. And <laughs> consider that the Ur is not without a sense of humor, but it may take a thousand years to understand the punchline. Mm. I will consider this viewpoint and make it my own. Ha ha. He, ha, ha, ha. He, he's, he's, he says, may I touch the shape? Which one? This one? This, the, the larger one. The one that speaks. Oh, sure. The yeah. speaking shape. Absolutely. You don't have to ask. <laughs> he puts uh, a weight uh, on your shoulder and he says, remain damp. You know what I do. <laughs> you think it nods, uh, and then it continues down this golden path uh, into one of the large buildings in the center of the I fundamental court. I touched the shoulder that, that it touched. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. <laughs> you know that it is right. <laughs> Buddy, yeah. I understood about 20% of what you guys said. It was mostly ums and thes. Can I tell you all of it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know that you will, because time passes differently here. <laughs> yes. yes. Especially when he's talking. <laughs> 10,000 years later. <laughs> what a wonder. <clears throat> I love it. Did yeah. you get what you were looking for? I really honestly have no idea. <laughs> I did. I did. And as soon as I can figure out how to convey it, uh, everybody's going to enjoy it. You said you got to wait a thousand years to hear a punchline of a joke? Wow. I how, mean, you're already, what, 400 years old? Who could say? Yeah, you look good. I appreciate that. Very damp. <laughs> currently. I'm, the only thing I'm wet with is the promise of this place. <laughs> mm. <Man>. Dewey. <laughs> I hope to become... <laughs> yeah. Drenched with power. <laughs> Next week is our Valentine's Day episode, so yeah. stay tuned. No, we're, we're getting early. We're getting we're getting into it early. Yeah, yeah. It's um, a birthday. <clears throat> birthday episode. Yeah. We'll, you hear we'll that, wander back. That yeah. long scratch. I'm ready. That's now pulled itself out into more of a shriek. Mm -hmm. um, by the end, uh, the second part of this word is two. T O. So now you have G E. T O. Um, oh. Gee, gee to. Gito. What's a new? It's the new diet oh, yeah. craze. Oh yeah, well, it's working for me. You only eat, you only eat geese. Yeah. <laughs> you only eat geese. Okay. Yeah. Um, but it's good for the gander too. I'm really nervous about this. I say to uh, Doldrama um, in the calmest tone I can <laughs> muster, and I say, um, "When? Uh, when can we?" When can we uh, present our case for a uh, center? Is that now? Is that imminent? It's soon. It's in a, a second. So now? <laughs> that doesn't mean anything here. <laughs> I say, so we should go now. Well, if, if you would like to. Yes. Are you okay? It's so okay. <laughs> I'm, just a, I'm just excited. Can I do a excited. perception check and Are see you if here? she's okay? Yeah, yeah we, want her. Her, we want her back. Oh. Yeah, we came back. He said it. All right, fine. Yeah. Can I percept? Yeah. I want to see if she's okay. Ooh, hold on. Your nut? Yeah, my nut. I was just going to say, well, okay. no, there, there is a way for you to pull up all of your stats 
quickly and, and more. So easily. Quickly and easily. How could you do it? It's like 16. Ooh. Oh, that's quite quick. Yeah, there is a little sawtooth underneath Walnut's vocal tone. Okay. There's a little vibration of, of tension underneath it. Okay. So, uh, and she and she's like, so Doldrama says, <clears throat> I, I was just trying to save you time. I mean, we can just get in line and wait, I guess. No, like a fast pass option, it's kind of important. Well, this is, this is the fastest pass they have. By the time we get back to what is called the prime material plane, only two seconds will have passed. Question. Do you guys have toilets here? <laughs> I just really gotta go. If you don't, it'd be great if you could show me how to get back to the prime material real quick, relieve myself, then I'll be it's here the, back in just a second. The expenditure of a quantum energy, and then it just kind of goes... Just you, save it for this I guy. need you to save. Right. I, need, <laughs> I actually need you to... <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Uh, I need you to make a wisdom save. Wisdom. Oh, great. I get it. Get it. P. I'll take advantage. I'll Will you? PB roll. Oh yeah. Pit, on that piss roll. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I'll say thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. As she begins to talk, you, the way that the words go together, it starts to sound like a single word. Like a, almost like a, the buzzing of a hive. Hmm. And the, the information that you get from it, at first it starts out and it's like, okay, here we go. We're getting, it's like, it's like the top of the roller coaster, right? Uh -huh. Like, okay, it's more of this shit. Right. This is what I put up with all day. Mm -hmm. And then, it's fine. What do you mean it's fine? I mean, Rosie thinks it's fine. Okay, Doldrama, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Do we need the court to make these changes? They're the ones that interpret, uh, that interpret the requests. I just mean... It's the, it's the source of our power. Mm. Cases made in earnest. But you and I both know that in documentary, there's always ways around something. Loopholes. We are trying to reconstitute a city. Yes. There's channels for these things. How many are on the court? You'll see. All right, well, let's go, because I need to see this and uh, no reason, but I just really want to get it underway. I, I understand. Uh, anytime you're on the precipice of true knowledge and understanding, it, there's an excitement associated with that. And uh, of course I endorse it. And I know that uh, Rosie feels it as well. So um, It's fine. <laughs> the, I was saying earlier, did, did Dinar ever feel anything scritching in the journal? In his journal, was there anything different? Did he ever have any indication? Kind of uh, got away from that one. <clears throat> well, no, no, no. It was just the. Um, Does he see the same thing that Walnut it, was seeing? If, if he were to open up the book well, and he, just take a quick peek, he's lazy and dumb. He would have no indication. I'm yeah, saying. you rolled a two on that perception roll. On that other one, yeah. But what oh, about, was that the same? What about Kevin? Same. Yeah, well, I was saying, what about Kevin? You know what? Here. Yes. I like Kevin. Okay, Kevin. Kevin is the only one who can roll at this table. So, uh, <laughs> Kevin. Uh, while you're deeply invested in this, um, in these blocks, uh, he comes up and just and gives you maybe a four out of ten whack uh, hmm. on the uh, back of the head. That's a real deal whack. Yeah, that's a good whack for a giant tail. Uh, I I get angry with him. <laughs> Because I'm mad at him that he got promoted. He's, Still, and, and he's so for initiative. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a dog chasing his yeah. tail. <laughs> he's so hard to hit. It's yeah. Like... And I keep turning around. He's never there. <laughs> you know. Uh, but I, I guess I, I go between the legs. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, uh, yeah. You gotta but, remove the leg for that. Yeah. He, there's a just a, a dull, uh, flat slap. 
uh, on the side of the documentary bag, a couple quick ones. Yeah, okay. Well, I feel like we've worked, we've worked some sort of code out at this point, so... Yeah, so you pull it out, and it's nonsense. It just says Guido. Okay, it says the same thing. Okay. It's a complete waste of your time. <laughs> is it says GE space TO? Uh, now, it's, 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 all very, it's all written very quickly and very close together. Okay. It's hard to say. Let's get on with it. That's right. probably what it says. It's probably what it says. <laughs> yeah. Does, so neither of you have told us what is happening in your letters? No. Oh, stupidly, he would be like, Guido? <laughs> what? <laughs> What'd you call me? <laughs> D- dumb. <laughs> that literally wouldn't register at all with Rosie. It's like, it, what, all kinds of dumb shit. I know, right? Else. Yeah. This is dumb. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna, this is not probably gonna land for Catrice either. As much as I want it to. I know. Yeah. Um, but I see that you have the same thing. And I <laughs> sweat for a minute thinking that you're gonna figure something out. And when I see you put it away, I'm like, oh, yeah. okay, that's fine. He's just like staring at it and you're like, Beads of sweat. Yeah. It's like, Guido, dumb! <laughs> <laughs> Hungry. <laughs> so, um, uh, it's not, uh, it's a relatively short uh, walk to the column of uh, entities. Again, const- you know, made of the same material, the same stuff that flows through the, the city itself, but. Um, on close examination, they're quite distinct. Um, if you, 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 you think that they must have some other mechanism for recognizing each other, but when you, when you, when you see a bunch of them in a line, mm. they have, uh, there's a lot about them individually that's unique. Um, so uh, this, this line just continues to sort of uh, burrow through. It makes the, it's a, it's a, it's a line insofar as you're in it and then it's going in here, but it ha- the line itself occupies a strange pattern uh, that is uh, in- inscribed and in according to um, a pattern that is on the ground leading into the central room. But you're close enough that you can see uh, individuals or groups moving in and a door closing behind them. And then the door opening and groups go in one by one. Mm. How long is this line? Uh, you, you, you think, perceptually, you think it'll be maybe 15 minutes. You don't, you don't think it's going to take a super long time for you to get from here to there. I, Rosie, I think I, I want to sidle up to Walnut and be like... Huh, what? <laughs> slam. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, I was going to say, how you like bureaucracy now? I love it. But I also, uh, I, you said earlier, you said something um, that made me think that things weren't entirely okay. So I just wanted to double check. Well, we're here at the heart of documency, and I don't have my title. And I have, you know, all of my accoutrement with me. I'm just a little upset. Okay. Uh well, I want you to know, A, you're always going to be the documenter in my heart. And B, if you ever have anything you want to tell me, I hope you know you can trust me. Yeah, that stuff that you said about me really stuck in my craw. Well, And I don't like it. I, you know, it wasn't entirely untrue, but it's also something that I've forgiven you for. And <laughs> we, we, move, we move past it. You know, I, I don't plan on narking on you, so I think, I think we're good. Well, I don't consider it narking. But I know I, you don't. I know agree you don't. To disagree. I know you don't. It's just the kind of thing, you know, in, in other kinds of organizations, there would have been some consequences for it. And um, I'm not I'm going to let those consequences just slide on by. I'm not going to we're not going to adjudicate that at all. Well, whatever you think is best. Um, OK. And uh, on this, well, it's going to look in the ledger one more time and see if anything has continued. Get out. What uh, what you got? What's going on? Oh, is it a message from Omen? Have you been talking to Omen in here? It's a message. I look at Rosie, and I am visibly sweating. Mm. And I say, you all need to go. What do you mean? Us. You three need to go. Where? 
out of here. And I open up my ledger and I show the get out and I go, this is a message from the secretarian. And the last time I saw this was when we were in the chamber with uh, Kithris and the, the altar. Mm. I don't want to alarm anyone. I want this to go really smoothly, but you need to get out. What about you? No. No, I'm supposed to be here. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. The chamber all over again. Not this again. I pull the, my ledger out to double check. Get out. Mm. No, no, get out. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> get to. Get out. Dumb. <laughs> get you. Dumb. <laughs> it's not, um, you think it's nonsense. It's upside down. <laughs> get out. It's upside down. I say, you need to go now. Okay, well, I agree. I haven't wanted to be here since we got here. All right, how many cases? <sighs> Boy. Uh, I know he nine. How many cases? Uh, one case. Two cases. I have two cases. Two cases. Two cases? Mm. Yes. Mine and hers. <laughs> he doesn't even care. <laughs> yeah. Well, he still wants to <laughs> restore a center. That's why he's here. I gotta do this really <clears throat> fast. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Two cases. I, I, I want to drop back. Since you guys are dealing with this door person, we gotta get out of here. Let's do Kithris for the podcast. I'm, I'm very worried about letting Dinar try this case. I know he's got a, some sort of a savant thing going on, but I just, I don't, I, I, it can't be right. There, there, there are no bounds on what could go wrong. This That's is my what, issue. I understand, and I completely agree with you, trust me, but this is not actually an indictment of his character. Not a we bit. We can do that later. This is actually, we have, there's a message in the ledger that tells us we have to get out. We have to get all of us out. Who's sending it? Omen? I don't know. One of them? One of them. With that crowd? <sighs> um, I, um... Don't make a scene. Don't do anything weird. We can't go up there yet. You know what? Uh, they, let them go first. They were being so kind to us. Uh, th- That's they can, true. They can go ahead. No, That's no. True. Please, come no. on through. No, oh, two it's... cases. Two cases. I think this one's going to be really quick. Well, it'll still be two cases. Them... A town to restore. No, I say we have two cases. Uh, Dol- and Doldroma, uh, her, her face snaps like it's too early. And then the rest of the body oh, yikers. <laughs> follows and she says two cases. Yes, two cases. Let us through. Don't worry about it. She holds a finger up to the person at the door. Don't listen to her. <clears throat> Two cases? Yes. We're going to be a minute. We should just let them nope. through. Yeah, let's go ahead and... This is a classic off by one error, and it can be resolved very readily. No, nope, I'm going go in first. there. <laughs> so you, you, you push your way through? Yeah, I'm sick Ooh. of this. I dragged Dinar with me. Oh Doldroma <laughs> is floating behind you, hissing two cases? What two kind cases. of case? You'll see. Restore center. I'll see. I'll see now. You don't need to see. You said I need to present it to them. I'm going to present it to them. This is what you wanted. You wanted to teach me this. She has a hard time arguing with that. Fantastic. Finally. Mm. Somebody listens to Walnut. <laughs> no one should listen to Walnut. So the, uh, the last of her rope slithers in the doorway um, as the door closes. And... Uh, Inside, the lights are very low, but you can see a... Yeah, it's sensual. No. Valentine's Day episode. Happy birthday. Um, happy birthday. Happy Valentine's Day. No. Mr. President. <laughs> <clears throat> They're in the, the floor of the chamber. Okay. Is, uh, looks like it's made from uh, like a clear ice. Uh, and below... And it appears to rest over Class. something like a pool of whatever these people and whatever is traveling around these buildings, mm. almost in a reservoir um, underneath that just laps at the walls of its chamber. And in the very center of it, uh, 
there is a table that looks, for all intents and purposes, like a game table. Which, from a purely retcon perspective, we're going to say that the Janari game is called Glittering. Glittering. I love that. And so, right here in the center, you can see what looks to be a kind of gridded out mm. table that mm. is designed to, you know, be adorned with... Glitter. Uh, well, it's designed to be adorned with these yeah. shapes. Mm -hmm. And then from below, uh, the chamber rings with it. Um, and uh, you hear a voice that says, uh, Vars Malus. Mm. Uh, what a rare pleasure. No, just his humble servant. He's, he is here. Vars Malus, show yourself. Well, yes. it, it is I, the head redactor. This is my fourth iteration. Do you not, do you not like it? Look at the crystal, see how it shines. Oh, if I only. I patterned it after your own scales. <laughs> Does Dinar... You have no idea what the fuck this thing okay. is talking about. Because um, in, in Dinar's mind, he's only turned into Vars Malus once, and he doesn't even know if it ever really happened, because he could never get it to happen again. Right. So I, he lo I love that. He questions that. So he doesn't actually, he doesn't think about that as having happened, really? No, because that was the whole thing with the werebear. Like, he's trying to appeal to it to happen again, and it doesn't, and in trying to do it, he evoked the, well, the bear form. Well, it ten minutes every time to get Clark Moore. Like, he, yeah. has a, he has a relationship with magic that's unique. Yeah. Uh... And it happened that one time in like super great stress, and I like the. So he's been he's been trying to access it again and can't to the point where now he's questioning with those. Did that even happen? Was that a fever dream? Yeah. Is he still around? Kind of thing. So yeah, that's how he would approach this. Like I don't know. He's not here. He's not here. I he's I am just a conduit. I'm really strong though, mm. so that's probably it. Well, if he should ever materialize, tell him the head redactor. Hey, if you can point me in his direction. his company. Hey, you and me both, buddy. Mm. I'm a big fan. Is uh, this case? So, is it you that I have to beat in this game? Well, there's no winners and losers here, but... That's loser talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's what someone who doesn't win says. <laughs> there's winners right here. Ah, he says, place the, place the case on the, uh, on the surface. All right, I will. Listen, if there's anybody in this fucked up joint that can get us out of here, it's you. Sorry to put that on you, but <laughs> you know I'm right. <gasps> okay. I have an idea. Okay. Are you going to do some stuff? Are you going to do some stuff? Yeah. It, 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 stop him from I mean, going over to the board. Well, it takes a second. I mean, it takes a second to arrange everything just right. I mean, well, yeah, and also in this sort of scenario. So you said there's different kinds of pieces, right? Because Walnut had to make a custom piece to do yeah, the things exactly. she wants to do. It, it, exactly. So like, he's still using the pieces that he was using when he was first iterating things the, with the drama, ones. right? Yeah, yeah. And as you're as, as you reaching into your bag to get the pieces out, I mean, you know exactly how they would. Yeah. You know exactly how you would phrase your your. Stratagem. Mm -hmm. You, you catch. You have like a memory of, and you don't know why it's coming to you right now. As you're place, as you're considering placing the pieces on the board, you you you're, you could sort of see your father across from the board, like not here, mm -hmm. not literally, mm -hmm. but this is where you learned it. Right? Yeah, you learned it under these conditions, and over your right shoulder. Like uh, looking across the parlor, you can see through the doorway. You can see your mother with her arms folded, mm. um, and uh, a look of of anger uh, on her face. And then you see her turn and leave out the doorway. Mm. What's next? Hmm. <laughs> oh, so he so he, he double takes he, in the a wash in the memory, but he still sets the board up. Uh, who's asking what's next? Is that that's me? The DM. Yeah. Okay. 
That's me, Dull Drama. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's me, your oh. real dad. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It is the devil's game. I didn't want to play it, they made me. Uh, the, I am, uh, I'm standing behind you, Rosie, and I'm trying to keep what I'm doing like behind you and hidden. All right, then I'm going to help you hide it. I'm, I'm fumbling with something. Okay. I got my, I'm going to appear large like you do if you see a cougar. Yeah. But I mean, it would look like, you know, nervous energy, I guess. Okay. If not looking too closely okay. under my cloak. A lot of fidgeting. Like it's not really the time. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> gross. It doesn't panicked. even register. Just like, <laughs> what? <clears throat> what? And, the, and the, the head redactor says, Fars Bayless, you should That's know. My name. <laughs> you should know that in this iteration, that I can field as many as eight cases. I understand that you have two cases to field. We can adjudicate them both simultaneously. Yes, Fantastic. that sounds incredible for my case that I have. Two cases, no. one and two. Great job. No. Uh, what, how many? No worries. This is quite a regular Vars Malus. It certainly is. I would agree. <laughs> I have mine ready to go. It's I, out. He can I feel. have no, I have no qualms, of course, with uh, adjudicating as, as many as you'd like, but I, I do feel as though we instantiated this uh, this courtroom under false pretenses. Oh no, there's only two. I'm One, two. Classic How many boards are there? Hundred percent, just two. You can see uh, rising up from the silvery muck mm -hmm. uh, below. You can see additional uh, boards presenting themselves. Oh, this fantastic. Okay. He said, well, I, I can adjudicate, you know, as I've suggested, up to eight. I could try ten. How many are necessary to restore Sinter? That's, I'm under the pretense that I come here, I beat you, and then the town's back to normal. Well, beat. Again, this is a... Loser talk. I get it. Uh, that's what I was told. Let me put it this way, Varus Malus. You, of course, remember... Uh, this is not your first visit to this hall. Uh, you, we have engaged many times uh, on this field and achieved what I believe are sure. uh, perfectly uh, amenable. Certainly you had no great contention with our previous efforts. I don't know, know what you're talking about. Well, I don't know what he's talking about? But you might, I mean, he knows okay. what he's talking right. about. Uh, <coughs> he says, I, I, not, he, he, not he, he says, does Janar not still stand? Last I checked. That is no doubt an index of the sophistication of the work we were able to complete together. It's not a competition, Vars. Then what is it? A concert. Great. Can we warm up? The instrument, <coughs> yes. With, with my friend's case no. here, we just have just these, these two cases, and this one I think is going to be a real smooth I'm appetizer. Up. I don't get a chance to react. Well, that would be like, oh, sure. no. like oh, totally. But that's, her stuff. but that's the point. I think is like we're trying to we're over talking. talking over. Over. But I don't yeah. want to talk over you because of the podcast. Oh, sure. Okay, I'm I'm Let's fine. Raise our hands. The other raise our hands. I'm fine if they sh if they try their cases first. It's he's there. It seems as many as eight. Uh, am I hearing correctly? Simultaneously. Can be can be done. If I'd it were not the glittering dragon king Vars Malus, this is obviously highly irregular. I <laughs> but I am willing to break the quote unquote rules. I don't want to put anyone out. Oh. I really oh. just want oh. to restore <laughs> center. We define the real here. Uh, Vars Malus, it's uh, really not really not putting anybody out. I perfect. <laughs> oh boy. We have some, we we're passing some notes here yeah. for this side of the table. Apologies. What is your case for again? Yes. What is your business? What is your case? Well, apparently for? it's up to me whether I'll we get a you, second board. I'll tell you when I can present it. You said we could do two cases. Here's my second case. One case is fine. <laughs> but now there's apparently three cases. Yeah, yeah one don't case is to them. fine. My case is fine too. I'm okay. It's good. I thought it was three. We, you know, a limited mind. <laughs> I got it wrong. Who will do the first case? Vars Malus. Sure. The only case. Well, I like that. 
I do too. That works for me. Uh, and what is the case? Restoring center. Undoing the <coughs> damage there's a, that there, uh, there's a there's a pause. It, that it, one did. There's, there's a pause. The the head of Judy, the uh, head redactor says. Center. That doesn't mean a lot to me. I just just place the place the cues out. I I, I really do process. You have to understand. There is an innumerable amount of centers. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not yeah, helpful like that. for me to refer certainly using this mode of communication if you I really would prefer how many I like the precision how many of have the cubes. have the, has that one destroyed and I point to dull drama well I wouldn't tell anyone else this <laughs> uh, this is just between you and me and of course the whole this whole glass temple is just yeah. pulsing with it mm -hmm. it says uh, cities or people. <laughs> Cities? <laughs> Cities is that is that a secret? And and Doldroma is just is looking at you. Yeah. And uh waiting for the next piece of information. Uh that one destroyed a town we were in. Well, yes, then. And I want to undo that. Oh, marvelous. But let, let's continue. Okay. All right. Denar is very um, uh, rattled. But he goes over and lets his idiot savant instincts kick in. We've been here for hours and he's finally rattled. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, well, he's like... Dialed into the game, but the, the the grandeur and the mind bending, like reality warping stuff, is so over his head. Yeah, like all he's, the only it's life also, raft he has to cling him. to yeah. is this simple game. It's the only thing he knows. So it's like nothing even looks like it does to all of you because he's just can't even get his head around it. So you, uh, as you're setting up the pieces, uh, you can hear your mother's voice. Um, maybe it's outside the hall uh, where you are in bed, and that, and that way that that children have a like a preternatural ability to hear their parents argue, at regardless of the range, but in absolute clarity. And she says, "How could you? How could you teach him that game?" And he says, "This is a game that will serve him well. This is a game that will teach him things he needs to know." as a king and as a man. And she says, this is a gambling game for cutthroats. And <laughs> any time you play it, there's a price attached. Uh, hmm. Shadow Council, uh, Mayor Labor Uh it, That's just how it happened, I don't know. It, it's time for us to do the break, I guess. Uh, we'll come right back after the break and then we'll play the rest of this game. Uh, and then we'll do tabletop, and then we'll go home, and then next week we'll come back, and then we'll play the game again. We'll play what? another game. Yeah, all the same characters. What? It's gonna be. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be all pretty right. sweet. Spoilers. This yeah. isn't gonna be a TPK. <laughs> hey. Tip his hand. Yeah. Do I whatever we want. It's, it's, I stab like, drum in the face. It's my birthday. Uh, uh, ghosts. Listen, uh, we will be right back. Uh, Shadow Council. Mayor Leavis, please you don't go nowhere. Hello. <laughs> I'm Jeffrey K. Horcrums, and this is Tessie Teams. Uh, when last we saw our heroes, uh, they were engaged in a fraught uh, discussion at the very heart of the fundamental court, an entity which refers to itself as the fourth iteration of the head redactor, quite possibly the most Jerry name uh, ever conceived oh, of. So you're self-aware, that's good. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No, I'm not one of these people that like, no, I just think feet are really cool. Like, no, I'm, I'm into feet. Not really feet. I, I'm being euphemistic. But that's okay. But, but that's fine. Like but if sure. I were, it would be cool. Yeah. It would be the I, have to, I have to experience the feet thing. No, no, no. I actually know. Oh, yeah. But that's a lot of work. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's a lot of work. They're all the way down uh, there. Oh, yeah. It's like, uh, it's like who's oh, got time? Jesus Christ. You need a train to get back and forth. <laughs> um, no. Uh, what, I, what I was trying to say before is that... Uh, you were tired of the no. cranium rat self-insert. You wanted a new one. In the, in the heart uh, of this strange possibly some atomic realm called the Fundamental Court, uh, 
Acquisitions Incorporated's C Team, um, a group which, as we know, has the exclusive rights to the Desert and Valley, but also a unique wildcard license. Technically, they could take a job in the quantum realm. Yeah, and it, the molecules. And it would be legitimate. Um, but what we have found is that now two cases have mysteriously changed to three. Uh, uh, Dinar has been contending with some memories which may or may not apply to the current state of affairs. And uh, even now, uh, Kathris uh, is formulating his own plan. He has been tasked by Rosie to derail or manage this scenario somehow. And uh, Walnut Dongrass, scion of the EPA, uh, is doing her level best um, to restore her friend Dol Drama from her current lich state. Uh, we return now to our adventure. Now in session. Only known to Walnut. I do, by the way, was it clear from seeing what you were doing? Because you, I noticed that it wasn't to restore the city. No, no. But I don't, do I, did, did no, you it, know what it's for. What it's for? Yeah, no, okay. you, you, you were able to perceive all the nouns and verbs of this yeah, structure. you know I'm not doing something bad, I'm doing something. Okay, okay, good. I, so only to you then, I awaken mine and I say, Maliki, you're sure about what you're presenting. I have to do this. I trust you. Okay. Okay. So <clears throat> you've 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 continued to arrange your yeah your case. Yeah. Yeah. He sets the board up. Exactly right as he had previously. In the uh, in the the tests and the duel with um, dull drama. Um, excellent. He says. It's a little. It's a little. Irregular, but this is the the cleverness uh, I've associated with our previous uh, repartee vars. Um, uh, I am the head redactor, after all. I can handle the other two cases while I manage this one. Fourth iteration. Yeah, been told. Well, like I said, and you can just the gleam of the interior structure. It's clearly something this entity is proud of, preening, but on a cathedral scale. Mm. Um, Two more uh, tables push their way up through the glass. It gets thinner and thinner until eventually they just pop through and rest on the on the, uh, atop some kind of a golden thread that goes along the middle of the chamber. Rosie gets her um, some parchment out of her cartographer bag. Yeah, and uh, as you reach in there, Doldroma says, "Now there are four cases." Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems only fair. <laughs> All my friends get a case. He can do eight at a time. He said he could do up to ten. She says, yes. Maybe another case wouldn't go amiss. And she says, head redactor, you said you could handle up to eight? She says, please. Please. You know my expertise. We've worked together before. I assure you, my dialect will be pristine. And the head redactor says, well, of course. Uh, historically, the, the six have delivered very, very clean code here. <clears throat> and another table rises up. So there are now five separate cases being adjudicated at once. Hold on a second. What is four? Five? Just four. Dull drama is going to do one. One, oh, two, one. three. She thinks that you are reaching into your bag to make a fourth one. She's right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now she has one as well. Right. And the redactor titters. Uh, from his from his little bowl beneath this chamber, <laughs> five cases. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a raptor. I know it's yeah. not eight, but yeah. I mean the session's young. <laughs> See what else we can get done here. You think it's a laugh? It's it's a sound. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, <laughs> you are trying to restore Doldroma to her previous uh, yeah. context. Yeah, and I. Want How fast do you do it? I set it up very Because now that we have five cases... Yeah, nobody's paying attention to me now. Exactly. So I have time to do this purposefully, mm. um, which I do. Okay. And I... Uh, uh, Kathris Drab, I would like you to roll initiative for me. Sure. Love to. Hmm. Uh, that's going to be a 19. 
God damn. Quite good. That's quite good. All right, no, Rosito. Mm-hmm. Rosarito. A 20. The San Francisco treat. Mm-hmm. Ding, ding. Okay. So you're going fast. What the fuck are you even trying to do, Rosie? Well, I'm about to tell you. Um, did they have to roll initiative? Uh, they have. They were already underway. Walnut has planned this yeah. for two seconds mm-hmm. now. Okay. This is this is the case that Rosie is bringing. Murder. Okay. <laughs> Motor murder found. <laughs> Jesus Scandal. Christ. Okay, here. Uh, what I need from you. Hey man, you brought in this quantum state shit. You want to play? I'm here to fucking play. You, yeah, yeah, you know how I do, kid. Um, so, what I would like from you is... All right, baby wizard. What do you think would be an interesting... Uh, oh, baby wizard no more. Yes. Big boy wizard. Big hashtag challenge. big boy wizard. Yeah, yeah. It's my one year anniversary. Oh, God bless. Thank you. Happy birthday. Mm. Blessed. Happy birthday. So, there's other birthdays. Okay. Um, no. <laughs> Uh, what, what, what do you think would be an interesting? I, I know what you're trying to do. Yeah. How would you like to accomplish it? Animal handling. I don't think that I have a lot of. Um, I, I'm very dexterous. Um, that could be it. Like the the folding of these particular cubes requires a certain dexterity that Rosie has. That's mm. intriguing to me. Um, it could also be because of the nature of this case that Grandma Mancy could come into play. Mm, spend I like some, that too. Spend some charges here, here, there. here. Go, go ahead and give me that. I'll, I'll apply the. The one that I think is correct, but I'll do it back here. Okay. So I'm going to do a... You're going to goose it? Yeah, I probably should. Um, and you want a dex check? A saving throw or, or like an acrobatics or straight, uh, straight dex? Yeah, yeah. Straight dex and then I'll add the, the sauce that is required. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll take advantage. Bush. I, okay. You can... I got lucky. <laughs> you do have lucky. <laughs> oh. Does it work on twos? One and then a two. <laughs> Unfortunately, it does not. Okay, that's much better. It's a 20. Okay, yeah, it's a 20, you know, as far as you know. Um, Mm. In this place. (laughs) Nothing applies. 20s are (laughs) one. The snozberries taste like snozberries. So you you are folding, like, uh, with just origami precision. Mm Mm-hmm. Gosh. I learned this in the academy. What did I say? Can we, can we say that you are folding, like, against the flat sheet of the, uh, against the flat surface of the table, let's say that she is actually folding with two hands. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Like, two like, different... But for her... Right. Because think about, think about, like, every holiday, think about every letter you have to write, every letter, if you know she's writing two letters at a time. <laughs> Because she's never going to do a situation where she doesn't handwrite the letters. Canonically ambidextrous. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Right? And so she is, is, and as soon as you're halfway done with one, you set it over here, and then you hear a, a tone or resonance starting to build as you uh, construct and associate each of these. Uh, Kathris Draub, what is the case you were trying to make? Uh, I have a much more complicated... Document, well, I know which, who you are. Which I... No, no, no. I have one that you see I do not put on the pedestal. I have... A separate one? I have a very simple one that I, that I, I place. It may For not, Christmas. It may not... Yes. Please. Christmas. May it please you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, it's, it may not even be folded. It, it, and it is clear to anybody who looks at it. it is, it's the Ur. It is a tautology. Oh, it's just precision. It's just certainty. I, yeah, I... It's just an act of worship? It is an act of abstinence from from this, From these mechanisms. The, what we are playing with is so dangerous then that it does not, uh, it wouldn't do me any good to add more error by hastily That's doing something. so great. All Whatever right. is going to happen is going to happen. Okay. Um, and so I, ro- I also rolled... A, I also rolled a uh, initiative for Doldroma, uh, where which I will place on the uh, screen now. It's important <laughs> because these things are all happening at a certain time, mm-hmm. and it's like a specific juncture, like within that fractional second space that initiative takes place in. And so it's really important, like, when she is able to do what she's trying to do. All right. 
Farmer. <laughs> she rolled a two. It could have been a much more complex. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it could have been a much more complex situation. Uh, so uh, Dinar blitz in. Well. Uh, the head redactor says, uh, "You says uh, as I suggested. Uh, you know, very very clear, very straightforward." Uh, request as usual. Uh, I mean, you've left out the, you've left out the bet, you've left out the the cost portion, but that's perfectly acceptable. I'll simply take the payment as I have in the past. What's a thousand years to an immortal creature? <laughs> what? <clears throat> um, and you feel yourself aging. Ooh. Like you feel your muscles starting to slacken, mm. and there's a moment where you hold yourself up on top of the uh, the board. But any the, it, it, even if you slide toward the pieces, they're now fixed in some position in time and space. They're immutable. Okay. Um, and uh, you can hear. Uh, you can hear Vars Malus. You can hear just a, like a great cavernous breathing, like a like a a dragon breathing in a cavern. Mm-hmm. You can just this is just pounding uh, in your head as this cost is paid. Uh, Dinara is now forty nine years old. <gasps> oh jeez! What? Just in game now? In game. <laughs> you were what seventeen before? As, uh, well, we've 19? been playing for three years. 19? So. Oh yeah. Well, I mean. Might not have been. Three Has years it been three in years game in time. game? No, mm. I don't think so. Maybe not. Forty-nine. He was nineteen, so aged thirty years. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the the vast preponderance of this was paid by Vars Mail. Does he look forty-nine? <laughs> uh, I think I I picture him as being like a like pretty foxy. Some silver scales. Yeah. The temples. Ooh. Oh. Uh, hmm. Maybe a, that's pretty close to death for a uh, dragonborn. Yeah. Also. How old do y'all live? Firmer. I think they die at like seventy-eight. Even the points there, are firmer, mm. grown out a little bit, a little bit more yeah. uh, regal, at least by dragonborn terms. Mm. Wow. Huh. Uh, uh, walnut dawn grass, but still the same brain. Yeah. Yeah. And he's just a creep. It's big. Now everything he does is just gonna be a creep doing it instead of like a <laughs> dumb kid. <laughs> yeah. You should know better, old man. Yeah. <laughs> dumb. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> it's too bad. Yeah, it's too bad. He's like still skateboarding. Yeah, like on you know, like, like on the beach. <laughs> Let's party, right, kids? Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, fellow I love kids. this band. Yeah, <laughs> I love this band. This is a great band. So, Rose uh, Walnut, when you uh, you are placing everything, and you know that you've done it exactly right, you are certain that you've accounted for everything, mm-hmm. and. Uh, you look over at uh, you look over at Doldroma, and you can see that she she has begun to sort of like very rapidly. Like she clearly has expertise in this mm-hmm. domain, and she is building her case on this surface very rapidly, and it starts to slow down uh, about halfway through, and the rope rises up behind her almost like a scorpion tail and just begins to writhe and snap back and forth against the floor of the chamber. And she places both of her palms flat and then she, as she, she travels from place to place about a foot above the ground. And when she collapses down, you can see that uh, her flesh has returned, but her strength has not. Uh-oh. And she is holding herself up on the board, and then she looks over at you, just accusingly. And she says, why didn't you ask me? Well, you, you're not yourself. <clears throat> is, is that for you to... Det- and her body freezes in place, almost a crystalline shape. And you can see her eyes looking like 
darting back and forth, but her entire face is frozen against the the board. Oh no. Uh, Rosie Beestinger. We um, should have. We should have guidoed. Uh, <laughs> could ask for help. <laughs> you could ask for help. I don't need help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, how come I'm old? I yell. What's everyone else paying? <laughs> <laughs> it's the, the cost of the action. Yep. So, uh, Rosie Beestinger, uh, you have put through uh, your request and it appears to, it appears to resolve. Okay. And then as each of these resolve, they sink down into the tables and then the rest of the tables uh, begin to sink down as well. And you can see that Doldroma is standing up and as the table is descending, she is beginning to tip uh, from her standing position uh, and she is about to fall over and collapse. Do I have time to grab her? I don't know, you tell me. What would this be, acrobatic? Uh, I like acrobatics. Um, I will take advantage, because I'm feeling a crummy roll on coming on. Oh, just kidding! <laughs> <laughs> hey, happy birthday, Jerry! <laughs> happy birthday. Uh, womp womp, as they say, show council. Oh, again, maybe. Mayor of Labors, please, you actually, yeah, do, do another one. Let's just see if you, let's see see if you can talk too. That was a joke, dude. The, we, we are the power of Jerry's birthday. No, no, we are truly, <laughs> in, we are truly within the fundamental court. Uh, Shadow Council, Mayor Labors, please you two times. What the? Uh, that is two twenty dollars gift certificates, certificates to the PA store. Very timely, uh, very timely uh, moment to receive a twenty dollars gift certificate because the Shadow Council pin is available on the store. It's uh, so good. You what are the odds? You can't tell in the photos, but it's three dimensional. It's like it's like raised up. It's such a cool pin. Yeah, it's a relief. Don't you agree? Oh, it's oh, it's exquisite. a huge relief. Almost as cool as D oh, Beyond. You dork. <laughs> oh no. You nerd. All right. Um, I like it. I like it. Now, um, so what do you do with these double twenties? Yeah. Um. So I will. Uh, uh, get, you know, get a get a footing going, and uh, I will. I don't think that Walnut is, you know, savvy enough to, like, grab her and do anything like really fancy with it. But she could slide and hold her hands up, and catch her that way. Yeah. Mm. So you get double you get, twenties. <clears throat> you get underneath. I flip it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I turned into all my wild shapes in a yeah. row. <laughs> I, I, I can basically what happens with two twenties. You convert. Instantly to your D and D six E version hmm. wow. of your character. Wow. It's like that yeah. uh, UCLA gymnastics video that was going around. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> you just like do a little dance routine. and then you flip through the floor routine. Yeah. No, here's the truth. We're skipping it. We're going right to seventh edition. Oh, Whoa. 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 <laughs> this is the stream. This is the stream, people. Wow. Now, stop <clears throat> tagging my coworkers when you tease me about this on Twitter. You guys are gonna get me in trouble. What did I say? So you slide, you, you slide under, and then as she is coming down, uh, you're able to keep her from connecting it, but she appears to be made head to toe of immortal crystal. Oh no. She has a radically different form. She's not able to move at all, and the weight of it is intense. Is her, are her eyes still free? Yes. And the, the head redactor says, uh, if that will be all. So wait, we're done? Is it, it, it worked? What about Del Dramas? Is the town back? She didn't have a chance to do hers. It wasn't done. Oh, it wasn't done. Uh, because of the two. Can I? You can do whatever see, you like. Can I see what she was trying to do? Uh, if I lay her down? What? Her, her, table, her yeah. table actually pulled itself down oh, below. Oh, so it's done. Okay. I, I so, will come assist. Uh, yeah, but there's nothing there. Okay. Well, I asked the head redactor, so is, is the town restored? What? Of course. What did you do? What did you, what was your thing? Yeah, what did you do? Is my errand complete? Uh, I assume so. He says, well, the, the, you know the prime material, of course, but the play is in motion. Yeah. Okay. Very good. I think you'll be impressed with the cleverness. I can't wait to see. What does that mean? <clears throat> I say, what happened? <laughs> this is not what I asked for. 
I am old. <laughs> This, this, is this is terrible. Exactly Only you, I got what I want. This is exactly what you asked for. She has been returned to her form. She has been a maid alive again, and uh, I, I added a little extra. I didn't because want the extra. of Vars Malus. This is your fault. Because of Vars Malus, I threw it? a little extra. Now uh, she can never die. That's not what I want. That's not what I asked for. You, no, you added should this have extra. Been, you should have been clear. Damn it. Is this your friend? Eh. That's honest. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and the head redactor says, Vars Malus, uh, I hope it's not ten seconds before we see each other again. Um, I agree. Uh, the bulb of the chamber uh, begins to uh, coruscate with lights um, and the uh, reversal of the process that brought you here. Uh, the world uh, expands, cools, heats, is reinvented a million different ways. Uh, and you and your cart are at the edge of a town called Sinter. Sinter mm. uh, is a, uh, a small village near the edge of the Anorak Desert. Not much known about it other than that. I, I, I guess it is a, functionally a pit of vipers uh, insofar as it is the home of uh, a sort of rekindled beast in your network in the east. Where's Doldrona? Doldroma is atop uh, Walnut, and this is the, the weight is immense. Like okay. you're not even sure how you'll carry this around. Agreed. I gotta get her in the cart. I mean, this was. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want anyone to know. <laughs> Fair enough. The the uh, there are tracks uh, here near the town of Sinter, and the cart uh, is here, next to the town, but uh, Coriander is nowhere to be seen. Where did we have her? On the cart. Generally, yeah. Oh, I was thinking about uh, the desert, because um, we did leave her and the cart behind. That's true, yeah, because we went, we went chasing through the desert. But she's How would the here. cart get here without her? I'm gonna put Doldrama in the cart if I possibly can. It's like a weekend at Bernie's situation. I mean, I know this is, I know it's too soon, but I get it. There's Bernie. a there's a certain physical comedy. Okay. Um, yeah. So it's very funny, but Walnut is traumatized, and he's dramatized. But dramatized potentially, like getting like misty and frustrated and that guilty a- and. She's really struggling physically and emotionally with this. It's uh, a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. I am going to help put Doldroma in the cart. And uh, uh, I'll, let me reach out with an awakened mind uh, to her. How, how is it possible? There's never enough time. No amount of time would be able to close every loophole. Why would you bring us to that court? Because I was told to. By Jeff Magic? There's no there's no answer. No but, answer. But you, you, you suspect there's you suspect there's something there. Alright, I yeah, I I end the call. <laughs> so I'll check on her <laughs> in a bit. Um Rosie's looking for uh coriander. Yeah. Just one runner on the car. You you want you wanna just you wanna just Take a peek around. You can see that you can see the sentries uh, on the eastern facing portion of center. Um, they they look over to you, and it's clearly meant to. I mean, they're they're clearly meant to impose, and you know, just possibly an aspect of protecting from things from the desert. But uh, the smallest of the two looks over to you and very discreetly. Salutes. Mm. I um, mm. I want to um, 
Oh, well, are there any tracks or anything? Do we see where Coriander went? There's something very strange. Okay. I want to, um, I want to uh, find Steed and summon Clarkmore. And then... It takes uh, a bit. Yeah. And then get on Clarkmore <laughs> with uh, Rosie. And um, they say, uh, I don't look at this stupid horse that often. <laughs> what is on her? <laughs> I want to locate object. Oh. Describe something on her for me to remember so I can try to locate object. I need to really visualize this though. Um, are you like holding Rosie like a little baby <laughs> or? You kiss the Rosie? Is she like on your shoulders? He's sitting majestic, older, w wiser. If all these years on this earth have taught me anything, he says. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I think it's funny. Uh, I, uh, I, maybe he gets the Bjorn out. Yes. <laughs> I think yes. they Bjorn it. Okay, so she's Bjorned facing outward. Yeah. Um, like what's on her? Um, she's got these new like metal blade wings that can cut yeah. a god. Okay. Uh, so maybe those. Yeah. And then he says, "I am." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Up, up, yeah. Up. I remember those now. Your chest feels firmer. This is nice. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working out. <laughs> Um, so he thinks about the, uh, the metal wings and then does locate object. Uh, you cannot, there is no object like that near you. So it's within a thousand feet. Oh, I'm aware. So then, anticipating that, starts trotting around on Clarkmore, trying to just get the map Ping. as wide as possible. Yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. actually, so you, you start prancing out into the... Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, uh, but I would like some perception rolls, uh, and I'll, I'll do one I'm for really I'll do one for a, I'll do one for Seymour as well. Seymour? Oh, Seymour gets a natural twenty. Womp wow, yeah, womp my, womp my, womp my. Womp 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 womp. Uh, Shadow Council, uh, your servant Clarkmore uh, has given you a boon. Good lord! Nice. Almost. I got five. It's Rollsville. Yeah. That's so low. Trash. Both of you. This box sucks. So five. Pool. So pool. Mm, uh, how do you, how do you like a twenty-seven? I love a twenty-seven. Good God, that's even better than Clark. I, I wouldn't be able to roll twenty-seven on anything, um, even with a nat twenty. I dumped it all. Oh, I dumped it all. So a, a, a few se a few seconds after uh, Walnut has found it and has moved out, mm -hmm. uh, you can see um, that there is just an odd. There is an odd shape on the surface of the sand, like where the sand begins to soften. Oh no! Mm. There is a. Well, yeah, it's not hard. It, you, you, everybody sees it. I know, I know, Alyssa. Um, every, everybody sees it, but they may contextualize it in a different way. This looks like the shape on a beach when you pull a boat. From the water up the beach. Oh, okay. Like uh, that that track, that ridge. Okay. It basically looks like there is. It looks like a boat was dragged from the edge of the desert here. Yeah. Out through the dunes. Okay. I, I'll point it out to Dinar then. Okay. It's more than a thousand feet away. Yeah, but right. but there is a a, a considerable wide uh, trench being drugged behind this, whatever okay. it is. It goes so the cart is over here, yeah. you're on Clarkmore, mm -hmm. um, and trench. Okay. Um, start heading that direction. Tell them, tell these two. Sammy, do you want to fly? We're looking for Clarkmore. You have, <laughs> sh you have wild shape, you don't need that. I would rather not. <laughs> don't want to insult him. You but then I you. think about not caring about insulting him and saying, no, thank you. None for me. Oh, thank I'm, you. I'm full up. Well, for me. <laughs> Two tendrils. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like... It's like one wrist and one ankle. Uh -huh. It's just like through a rubber band. Yes. It's like one of those toys that you... <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah, we are, we are following. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um... Uh, so the midday sun uh, on a distant dune catches like a, 
a sparkle of something, a glint. Uh, and then it passes over the dune and continues. Oh. Hi ho. <laughs> yeah. Any? Still nothing on the on the radar. Uh, no. Whatever whatever it is is not. Uh, doesn't have the shape you sought. Okay. Um, all right. We'll keep going that direction. In the uh, in the glint towards the glint. I think since Clark Moore got a nat twenty, he probably is way ahead of us on this. Oh yeah, oh, we're on him. I know, but yeah. I'll, I'll be like, hey, do you see? That? And Clark yeah, and he's already, already like halfway back. there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> um, you can see a uh, the the farther you get. I mean, it takes a while to catch up with this thing. I mean, you are running atop dunes for maybe forty five minutes by the time you're able to catch up to this. And what you see. Uh, just a couple hundred feet away in front of you is not is not coriander, but you think that it might have been coriander until fairly recently. What happened? You see the same uh, sort of coppery glint, but these wings on the side have almost opened like fingers into two sails. Oh. Uh, and it has a, a proud prow at the front of it that you Ooh. suspect may be uh, equine does it, prow, does prow. it look in like nature. She is like sliding she like a boat through the skimming sand? skimming the sand. Dude, nice. Hmm. Uh, with this novel sail mechanism. I, I yell to her, Coriander, whoa, girl. <laughs> Come on now. You can see the. Uh, the wings fold down into their single blade and then uh, underneath it collapses together and splits into legs and then she looks back over and just haughtily whinnies. I liked it! You can do that. Either way is fine. Right. She's stamping and waiting. Okay. I'm gonna hop hop out of the Bjorn then, run through the sand, and give her a stern talking to. Okay. Don't you dare leave that cart. You didn't, you leave a note? You tell us where you're going? She reaches over, like, you sense like a, like an agitation almost, like a, a tension, like a, like, um, like a bad storm's coming. Oh, sure. Okay. You know what I mean? Does she seem like she was afraid, like she was running away? No, she's ravenous. Oh. All right. She is reaching over, like you're giving her the pets and the Stern's talking to, and she is actively trying to eat the staff. Oh, no, you can't eat that, girl. (laughs) (laughs) I turned back. Any of you got anything magical we could feed her? I think she's going to eat me. No rush. I'm just shaking my... I have money. My elk head. <laughs> yeah, money might be the, the thing we need. Well, we, I mean, I don't know how much money we got, but it seems like the, the appetite has shifted. <laughs> what about that dagger I gave yeah. you? I, which one? The, uh, the one tea dagger? Yeah. Did it have any attribute? I don't know. Did you ever look at it? <sighs> the yuan tea dagger? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. wow, from, from, from a million years ago? Yeah. From the game we played at, like, the stream? Yeah, dude. Nice. Yeah, Legati had it. I didn't really consider it, um, but I'll, I'll I'll ask him to produce it. Uh, if he'll if he'll relinquish it. Um, yeah. Let me. So I'm I'm looking at it. Do I? Then I hold it out to Coriander. Is there anything there, or is this just a dumb old dagger? <clears throat> no, that that gray tongue comes out and tests it at various places, uh, and it appears to meet the preconditions. Uh, And then the teeth just come down on this thing, like right in the middle, like the, these firm teeth crunch down on both sides of the hilt, and the blade just snaps Mm. on one side, and the handle snaps down on the other side, and then that same tongue is able to uh, work its way around and grab the rest of the chunks. Nice. Uh, it's making me hungry. 
<laughs> Mamma mia. Mm. Uh, and pull them in. And there is a, the coriander sheen changes. What? She goes from like a Michael to a Charlie? Yeah. Yeah. Just, that's, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> no, the... I'm mad I liked it. <laughs> the patina moves toward gold from copper. Oh. Ooh. Mm. Now do you like her? <laughs> it goes what? It goes away from copper. Oh yeah, wait, you're copper. <laughs> yeah, now I'm madder. <laughs> no matter what, yeah. there's always going to be an angle. So Rosie goes ooh appreciatively. <laughs> yeah, and but that the hunger is not sated. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> well, no, she just she starts to throw her head uh, around and uh, and rise up. And then, like, sort of, like, throws her head out into the desert. Her oh. whole head? Yeah. Just oh, get yes. back here. <laughs> <laughs> no. Whoa! It's got little wings. <laughs> like cannon. Um, I could talk to her and see what she's doing. Ooh, can you talk to um, machines? The plants. Plants. Oh, that's her? right. That's plants. Yeah, yeah. Good call. Oh yeah, she was really rude to you that one time, right? It, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't like, pleasant. Well, not it's like <laughs> hesitant to talk to her again. She's like, that was a, uh, an ordeal. It was a lot. I, I think Rosie would ask, like, please, just as a favor, just a quick chat. I gotta know what's going on with her. <sighs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> now, Walnut's gonna talk to you, and I need you to be nice. You got it? It. You think? You think? I mean, you've had a lot of conversations with Coriander, but you, but conversation has not has not had a lot of conversations with you. Sure. What you're getting is that Coriander is going to be cool. All right. Mm. Okay. Going to be cool, like gentle, a good nuzzle, S- like nice snoot. Same okay. page. All right. Thank you. All right. <laughs> so I'll use my. I'll come out of my wild shape. I'm done for the day, so we are <laughs> aft on the way back. Um, <laughs> I guess I write coriander. Yeah. Um, and I'll use speak with plants, and I will say, um, I'll say, uh, he- hello. What is it, child? Hmm. Not, not a great start. What? And I say, um, we are hungry. Where can we find you more sustenance? We are in a great field of what we desire, what we hunger for. It maddens us. Mm. Mm. Oh, sweet Sam. If you take us to where you can feed, will that stay you for a while? This hunger is new. Mm. New? We do not know its depth. All right. Uh-oh. So I'll relay this to the group. It, and it, it takes a couple steps toward you and just locks its locks its eye on you, turns its head so you can get a full view like, Whoa, all of right. that massive black marble. And it says, we are becoming something. I know. Hmm. What are you becoming? A weapon? An answer? Oh. To what? Find me a meal of magic. Um, okay. And I turn to the party and I say, um, she's still hungry, but what she needs is here in this desert. Mm. Um, so we should, we should let, we should let her eat, I think. Okay. Can you, can you take us to where you need to eat? She sniffs and sniffs and sniffs. Um, in the air, and then uh, flattens out, unfolds, and uh, the wings split into sails, and then the the proud prow uh, sits at the sits at the front, and she casts her head around. Is there room for all of us in there? Thoroughly. Oh, oh man. All right. A sand mount? I jump in. Rosie's in there too. Hesitantly. <clears throat> She's riding on the front. 
yeah. near Coriander's head, like <laughs> grasping one of the sails. So, so Clarkmore. Uh, Clarkmore, do you want? Uh, I am. Can listen, Clarkmore fit in, or here, can Clarkmore no, 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 follow can, along? I am the dungeon master. <sighs> hmm. And it's your special day. And, and it's, it's my special, special day. day. Special day. So, I mean, Jeremy Crawford is not going to get in my business. He might. About well, but he doesn't know the volume, the interior volume of an EPA war horse. <laughs> it's in there. <laughs> it's in the book. I appreciate why you turned me forty-nine now. So we were like, yeah, forty-three. <laughs> forty-three. Goodness what? gracious! You know, like the day of forty-nine. I looked this way. I've looked this way since I was eighteen. So. <laughs> That's um, true. It's just how it is. Vampirism. So, uh, it's it's uh, again. It's uh, I am fu- can I'm just gonna ask you. Can Clarkmore get in this? Uh, if if there's room, I would try to. There's room. Dinar riding Clarkmore riding Coriander <laughs> is the ideal scenario. Excellent. If there's not enough room, then well, Dinar no, no, would no. ride Clarkmore alongside. Excellent. No, you could all get in there, but you don't. But you don't think you can ride on top of Clarkmore inside the boat. You don't think that that's stable. No. <laughs> but Clarkmore can definitely ride in the boat if you want to ride in the boat. All right. Yeah. No. Okay. But Clark, but Clarkmore just hates it. Like what? just that. It's like a big knobbly knee. Like one step. Is he in. weirded out by the fact that I'm like thirty years older? No. <laughs> no, he doesn't even notice. Well, no. I mean, he's he's made out of. He's like a, an yeah. intelligent. We're soul uh, bonded. He's yeah. not actually an elk. He's like a celestial spirit. It's like a reindeer. Yeah, exactly. But he only looks this way because you wanted him to look yeah. this way. No, he doesn't judge. Yeah, and I, that's what I love about him. And it's fine. See, he he knows the star stuff in you, right? Yeah, that's the, that's where the relationship is. Aww. And so that it's like one mega wobbly hoof goes inside the boat, wobble, 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 mm. and then the other one comes in, and then the back two legs become an, <laughs> like an sweat. inverse V. Yeah. And then it's trying to it's trying to sidle forward on the two front feet, <laughs> like the process in total is six and a half minutes long. I'm pushing him it was like <laughs> back, like from behind, and I'm just like and it's just apologizing <laughs> for him. The three of you don't pay attention or care. I'm like he loves this, guys. <laughs> and none of you. He's, he's been asking me actually. He like, we're gonna, say- like we're gonna call someone. He's been saying no. He loves <laughs> this. Oh, he loves this. So you push in two. These two little trenches are drawn by the thing, and eventually, when it becomes clear that there's no other recourse, uh, the back right leg is able to get in, but still at the wide angle, and then he saunters over and then finds his way, uh, and then sits down on the knees mm. inside the boat. Uh, and just and looks out. It appears to appears to have found whatever is the equilibrium point. For a celestial reindeer um, inside of a mysterious EPA uh, war artifact. Does uh, Coriander like having him on board? Does she sh- <coughs> show oh, it Cor- anyway? Coriander is definitely feels as though rank is being pulled. <laughs> you can tell. Like that, that, the, Good. The angle, like the upward <laughs> angle. It is. Of the, uh, of the, uh, the neck. Like you, you can tell that this is a, this is a purpose, mm. a life purpose being executed at the maximum level. And are we feeling that too? Like we look at this and be like, oh, Clarkmore, falling from that lofty station. <laughs> like we're now all like in our cups about it. Like, ha ha, you dumb milk. This was the real deal. This was the real mount all along. I'm not doing that at all. Oh. Like, this could do that. I was interpreting this as like, oh, no. Clarkmore gets to ride on Coriander. That's the this is the pecking order. It's right. ride or be ridden. Oh, I well, yeah, exactly. So, so they both think they're superior. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, they both no, no, think no. they're they're at the, the end of the day. One. Each of these beasts has an opinion about themselves yeah. that places them at the apex of whatever imaginary hierarchy uh, they exist in. Yeah. No, I've said very little. I've said <laughs> pretty much nothing since since uh, we left the cart. Oh. I've been I've been ah. meditating. <laughs> so, once everyone is situated, uh, there's a, a couple seconds before the front of the boat begins to tip down, and uh, the boat begins to sail down this sand, this ridge of the sand dune, and it is adept at riding at the bases of these hills. 
and then uh, as it builds up speed, then it can cross easily over the tops of dunes. And there's just a there's just a hiss uh, underneath. You're not sure if it is fully connected with the sand once speed has been uh, achieved. Once it's, once, it, once it's achieved maximum EPA speed. Did you see I'm, just, I'm just, just tweeting. Oh, okay. I was just, <laughs> <laughs> just checking my TurboTax. Uh, yeah. Do we... Get the maximum refund. Do we... <laughs> Whoop, just came in. Oh. I can Thanks. expense this. Thanks, D&D Beyond. <laughs> it's expensified. Never been easier. <laughs> do we... Uh, like, yeah, how long do we travel in this, in this direction? Because she seems to know where she's headed. Mm -hmm. yeah, but she's just she's following the wind. There's just a scent on the wind mm -hmm. where she's just sniffing it out. And then occasionally she'll change direction, crest another hill, catch air, which I feel like is appropriate. <sighs> Do any of you get seasick? Yes. Yeah, sand sick. Oh, yeah, then, then this is definitely an opportunity for, for you to vomit off of the side. You and Clark Con yes. check. <laughs> <laughs> That's a... That's a good con check, though. <laughs> that is pretty good. But she gets a but she has a negative. Yeah, uh, the higher the higher is worse. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Golf rules. <laughs> okay. Pew, I think pew. but with vomiting. Yeah. Rosie, the, Rosie. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Go yeah. ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I want to. this track? I want to walk over <laughs> to Walnut. Part of the, part of the reason is because I'm used to boats, but also because I'm just like my center of gravity is real low. So it's very hard to, to shake me. So I just come, I come over very like comfortingly and kind of rub, rub walnuts back. I'm not actually throwing up, but I am like dry heaving, but she will not, like if anything comes up, she'll swallow it. Yeah. <laughs> you ever do that? No, oh, yeah, yeah, of yeah, course, no, listen, yeah. I, that's the, yeah, I can see the end of this. Yeah, this job all day. Um, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks about that one. Happy, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, she's just dry heaving. Okay, um, Rosie, um, I feel like would know some kind of like she would she would kind of have that like grandmotherly like oh I've got just the thing, and reach into her her pouch and have like a weird concoction mm -hmm. of essentially fantasy dramamine. Yes. Right? So Gramamine. Gramamine, yeah. Um, and I and call it Gramamine. She like it's gross though. She's like oh. Sweetie. And she gets she gets some like dried herbs out and she starts to mash them in her hand. She spits in it for a second. She reaches down and gets <clears throat> some of the sand, yeah. mixes that up. Oh no. Like this? It's like Pretty. Fantasy epic Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she is and it's like it, it comes out and it's just this like muddy, grainy paste. <laughs> she takes a big dollop of no, it. No, no, no. She's like No, no, no. This will help. Promise. Where's it go? Yeah, it's a suppository. Yeah, and I say, yeah. <laughs> uh, and she goes, "Do I have to eat it?" Yeah, trust me, it's gonna taste better than whatever you're swallowing right now. You don't have to eat it off my finger unless you want to, though. I do not. <laughs> she takes it and then she very slowly eats it, and it is gritty. It is not tasty, and it's got grandma spit in it. <laughs> So you know it's good. Yeah. So, so you can't buy baby, that over the counter. No. I can only take it if you baby bird it to me. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> this, it's, yeah, it's actually somehow gotten worse. Um, so the uh, coriander's, uh, you can see coriander's like neck stiffen for a second. You just you are intensely familiar with every uh, every instinct of this. Creature, she, she's reacting to something that is coming in via her senses, but then she smooths out. Um, the camera, if there is such a thing, uh, comes back as you've entered a new uh, place between these two dunes. The sand in front of the boat has begun to fall away uh, entirely, and uh, just behind the boat, uh, a series of curious, uh, thirsting tendrils have begun to rise. Uh, Josh, if you'd be so kind. Uh oh. Blip. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Saved it. Hmm. Uh, so and nothing bad happened. No, no. Oh. I don't have any. I don't have any power in my thing, so I can't. I can't turn off the cauldron. Unfortunately, you'll have to turn it off. Uh, 
the between shifts, the two guards that stand on the eastern edge of the city of Sinter, which as far as anyone knows, uh, has never fallen from the sky. Uh, as they move into the town to change guard positions, um, there is a whirl of sand uh, that materializes just on the border um, where the natural lush plants begin to give way to the eldritch horrors of the Anorak Desert. And the figure that emerges from that vortex uh, is strange to the eye, small but uh, with a malevolent curiosity, a tall hat, uh, white and green robes uh, cascading down from his shoulders. And as he approaches the cart and opens the door and steps up, there is no sound that accompanies his footsteps. And his, and his voice says, Doldroma. I had such high hopes. Shadow Council, Mayor Labors, please you. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, what a pleasure it has been uh, to spend this time with you. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the incredible light show. I know that I am. <laughs> um, listen, uh, we're going to go and we're going to take full advantage of all the facilities we have here in the uh, palatial Penny Arcade offices. Uh, then we're going to come back and we're going to do table talk. Uh, that's our classic ritual. Uh, come hang out with us. Always a treat. Um, but yeah, until I see you again, which is like in a couple of minutes, uh, don't go anywhere. <laughs>